a brand studio straight out of jersey with jersey jay-z and the freak of new york greg valentino How you doing, Greg? We are live, me and you. What's going on? We're a little bit earlier than normal because we had a couple of guests that are coming on. Yes, we are, and I'm looking forward to these guys. They 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 should be uh, they should be here soon. You know, they should be here shortly. I already sent them the invites already ten minutes ago, so we'll see what happens. We adjusted for one, so and let me see. No bullshit with these fucking no arguing in that goddamn form. Uh, Vinny presents. Hey, what's up, Vinny? How you doing? John hey, Mantini, hey, how you doing, buddy? What's going on, John? Marilla, how you doing, Marilla? We are waiting. Natalia, what's going on? Miss Marilla's in the house. Yes. And Ruben Natalia. Sanchez, what's up, brother? Ruben. All right. Uh, if I do, Greg, Greg, if I do go in and out, it's because I'm sending a link to make sure Jimmy's getting it. Uh, hold on. Well, we got, there hey, he is. Mr. Hey. Lee Priest, the first guest hey, to jump hey. in. What was that say, that shirt? Don't oh, like it. Let me let me get it on the right angle. Yeah. If you don't like me, fuck off. Problem solved. There you go. <laughs> uh, problem solved. That's is it. That now, I did search or did, is that something you bought somewhere? Is that I just found it on found it online. Oh, okay. You found it online? Yeah. Yeah, I, I sort of sort of sort of says everything without having to say a word, doesn't it? <laughs> Look, what time is it over there right now? It just came six a.m. Six oh, a.m. A.m. Shit. Yeah, he gets up early. I've been up since quarter. I've been up since quarter past three. Really? Did you work out I already? I, I went to bed. I went to bed about seven thirty, eight o'clock. Oh shit. Then I get up about three fifteen, half past three every day. Oh, so that's normal for you, though, right? You, what's your normal bedtime? Like seven yeah. thirty? Yeah, I'd say eight eight thirty. Like the latest would be nine if I start dozing off on the couch. Then I, like mm -hmm. I said I get up at get up at three thirty. On the weekend, I might sleep in to half past four. Oh, <laughs> Greg's like three thirty. I'm just going to bed. Yeah. <laughs> I'm still watching TV. Yeah, you guys, are, you guys are still out. You guys are still yeah, out. We're out. Me and her, we'll be out till like sometimes seven, eight in the morning. I told you, I told you that um, I watched that movie again. I think I told you on your live yesterday. It's such a good movie. Like you know, Russell Crowe has Gladiator and all these movies, but I still love Unhinged. That's such a good movie. Oh, yeah, that is a great movie. I can relate. Same thing with Falling Down. Remember with the uh, oh yeah, Falling Down. Well, I'm the bad. Wait a minute. I'm the bad guy. Me. I'm the fucking bad how guy. Much, how much for a fucking can of Coke? How much? For... <laughs> well, that, was... that you can't beat that road rage, road rage incident in Unhinged, and the way he just goes off, especially that scene in the cafe with the lawyer where he just kills him and walks off. It's like <laughs> I love it. He plays the psycho, Russell Crowe. Yeah. Have you, know, you seen that one, Joe? Unhinged? Which, unhinged? I have not. I have not seen yeah. that one. If you Great want to movie. see a good one where it all started just because the woman was rude to him and then the whole fucking see people, you never know who you're going to be picking on sometimes. <laughs> <laughs> I had a girl stalk me like that. And I had my daughter was young in the car with me. And I had a woman stalking me like that, going after me, fucking trying to cut me off and shit. And, we, you know, I was like, you fucking cunt. You know, and then that, that triggered her. She wouldn't stop doing it till finally I fucking shot out to a parkway. John Mancini's talking about Frank Gorilla would be good in part two, but did you see Frank Gorilla? He's going to be season two of Tulsa Kings with Sly. He's going to be the new sheriff in town. I, I like that show. Tulsa I've never, it's good. Yeah. It? It's a good show. Have you watched Tulsa Kings, Greg? No, I've never watched it. I, I never. You'd like it. You'd like it. It's like he's. He's old school. He gets out of jail yes. and goes. They, the mob tells him, "Listen, you got to leave town. Go to Tulsa." So mm -hmm. he gets to Tulsa and starts all his business dealings there. But he's funny because he's like old school as well. So he's talking about texting yeah. and phones. He's like, oh, "What's the world coming to?" Yeah, he's got, yeah. he was in jail for like 20, 30 years. So you know when he gets out, but just the way he runs, he runs it like a. He's like a bad guy, but he's a bad guy with morals and like all about respect. Still, you know, right. like the mafia used to be. <laughs> like what's up kevin how you doing kevin kevin callen one of the guys don lombardozzi he's on that show <clears throat> uh, he's one of the guys on that show but uh yeah. 
Stallone, is, yeah, it's, he's. I love anything Stallone does. Yeah, he's great, Stallone. He still he comes he from New York and then goes to, to, to Tulsa, and that's where he he's like selling weed yeah. and taking over a weed store and stuff. Yeah, you know, like yeah. Their face, you know, when men, you know, when men men mm. age gracefully, but when women start pumping their face, it looks terrible. But when men do it, it's really bad. When we get the lips and then the cheeks and shit, you know what I yeah, mean? Yeah, yeah. You know who looked really bad for that? God rest his soul, he's passed away now. But who went too far was Kenny Rogers. Oh God, yeah, Kenny, oh, Rogers. Kenny Rogers. <laughs> you know who else? But look at fucking what's his name there? That uh, the wrestler, uh, the fucking what's Mickey Rourke. Mickey Rourke. Mickey Rourke. Yeah, he Mickey was Rourke. A, like a male model when he was young, a good looking, oh, yeah. and now he looks like he fucking was chasing parked cars and shit like that. With you know, like a dog. Yeah, Mickey Rourke was really good. I mean, like I used to see him at Golds all the time and that, and yeah. he used to eat at the Marina. He used to eat at the Marina Pacific. Mm -hmm. Before that restaurant change there, but he was always in there, Mickey Rourke. And you know, also was nice to talk to he, that other actor who ought to mm -hmm. like star in that arm. Is it Priscilla Robert Presley, Devai? too? Is it is it Robert Devai or Robert Devai? Deval or Deval? Robert Deval. Yeah, <clears throat> we bought a like acne scarring on his face. Yeah. You know, who I saw Gold Jim. You remember, uh, you know, uh, what was that the cop from fucking uh, Scarface? You know, Mel, Jewel, Jewel fucked up, Mel. See you at the resurrection. Remember that cop? Tony, don't do it, Tony. You know, mm. fuck you. You remember? From Scarface? You know, yeah, from Scarface. You know what I might do on, you know what I might do Monday night? It could be, I haven't decided, but I should do it because my friend Josh, he sends me a lot of shirts, you know, like, what is it? Stay humble or be humble. You know, those type of shirts. Ego, out, destroys talent or something. Oh, but I've got these good shirts from him. He's a good drummer and that. His fiance is Nita Strauss. Do you know Nita Strauss, the guitarist? Mm, that sounds mm. yeah, that sounds sounds really good. Good. She's, like, she's like one of the best guitarists in America. Mm. If you Google her, you'll see her, Nita Strauss. But she's over here at the moment. She came over a couple of years ago. She travels with different bands, but she's over here with Alice Cooper. And they got me two tickets to go see Alice Cooper Monday night. Oh, nice, Cooper. Alice Cooper. He's he's old. Yeah, man. And, uh, when I was he's old. out for summer and all that shit, that was yeah. I I posted one of his songs, Poison, once. Dun, dun, dun. Really? Mm -hmm. How that guy's got to be like eighty. They took footage of me doing all that big arm bullshit for uh, in Glassbury or whatever at the uh, what YouTube that uh, YouTube, YouTube, in uh, two thousand ten or two thousand nine. It was old footage, and they actually bought it off me. And they used it on it like a eight, during a song, ain't nothing like the real I, thing. I like I like Greg's um when Greg's YouTube starts where he's doing that little dance in the field. In the field, and we do that <laughs> dance in the field. That was a reality show, right? That's some reality show that I had done. Yes, we it's should all we, next. We should all recreate that. You, me, Jimmy, Mister G, and I all stand in there doing the same thing. <laughs> I see, dance funky, funky like that, and I knew every and it, everybody loved that thing. It's just, people always ask about it, like what the fuck. I'm gonna text Jimmy to see where he's at. So hold on, guys. You guys can keep talking. Jimmy's away. Jimmy's preparing himself. Fashionable to be late. Jimmy's practicing in the mirror. You remember, like raging bull with his top on, top on. He puts his tight top on and goes. He had a good incident yesterday, right? Or he thought the Monday was. Yeah, I told, I think I told you, Lee, right? I said, yeah. he called me. He was so pissed off on Monday. <laughs> like, did, you like, did you like it when I came? Did you like it as soon as you come on, though? Like, I'm going to call him right now. Boom. <laughs> <laughs> and then he goes black. And he I have to shut up and call him to let him know that Dave's going to send him the fucking link. Yeah. I was like, dude, you got to come on. It's fucking, this show's killing me, you know? Oh, the show was so, oh, it was so, oh, oh my God. So, I couldn't believe it. It was so I bad. Cat in here, a new cat. Well, it's an old cat. It's fourteen years old, but it's new. Found it on the street last week, so I got seven cats. Strays. really? Hey, cat. It's just, it's just getting used to the other cats because I was out the street. My wife comes in on the weekend because she's drunk on the weekend. She brings a cat in. I said, "Where did you get the cat from?" She's like, "Across the road." I said, "You just can't." go stealing people's cats because you're fucking drunk. She's like, I didn't steal it. It was out there. I said, but it probably lives there. She's like, oh, I can take it back. I said, no, give it some food because it looks skinny. We let it back out. But then the next day it was raining. It was under a car. I'm like, that poor cat. So I brought it in. I think I'll take it to the vet. See if it's got a microchip and they can track down its owner. So I took it to the vet and they're like, oh, yeah, it comes from Carrington. That's like 
five minutes away, a suburb. But we got they got a hold of the woman. She goes, she gave the cat to her daughter who moved to my street somewhere. But her daughter moved out four years ago, left the cat, left it with the owner. The owner got another cat and dog and threw the cat on the street. So it's been on the street for a couple of years. So I called the vet and said, look, I'll take it. So they contacted the lady who originally had it. And she signed the cat over to me. And then oh, she came over. She came over the other day, brought some cat food, and that goes. I really appreciate you taking care of the cat and that. And so now I got another cat. <laughs> Does he get along with the dogs? Uh, my cats do. This one probably wouldn't, but my dogs are so playful. It's like my dogs are so big and playful now. They'll just lay there with the cats, but sometimes they get excited and they oh, think okay. they're a toy. I'm like, calm down. It's not a toy you can rip apart. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, my God. Well, you know that uh, uh, John Mancini said that Romano was on a podcast this morning. Oh, uh, with well, who? Look, I what shirt, no look what shirt I found here. We'll have to get Joe a pair. Oh, I got to get That's some. Ace. Ace sunglasses. Ace. Yeah, they are sunglasses. sunglasses. They are. They really yeah, are. Even like I said, like I said when I, on your live the other day, I'm like, I wear them even when it's raining because even when it's raining, yeah, sometimes the rain's hard to see in the glare, even if it's not mm -hmm. totally thing. I put that on and I put them on and like you can see so much clearer. Hey, uh, that's not you. I don't want you. <laughs> I just see different tails going past the desk. <laughs> hey. So who was John Mancini? Who was, uh, what podcast was uh, Romano on? I have no idea. He didn't say. <laughs> he did not say what uh, one he was on. <laughs> I think it was on uh, Muscle. Blue boys, blue he said he was on Muscle boys. Fitness with Frank Seppi. Oh, yeah, Frank. I know. Frank. It wasn't Blue Boys, Blue Balls, and Holes in Walls, was it? <laughs> <laughs> oh, my God. Where Did you text uh, Jimmy? Anywhere from Jimmy? I texted him. I mean, uh, he should be coming on any minute. He, uh, said. Be, he, like, he likes to make a grand entrance. He likes to make a grand entrance? Yeah. He does. He likes to come Did in. Did you talk to him today? Did you? Talk I talked to him. to him. Yes, I talked to Jimmy. I'm like, Jim, you sure? If we're going on live at four. I said, I'm, we're doing a lot of adjustments for you. He said, yes, yes. So I was like, okay, we'll see what happens. Frank said he does a perfect Jimmy the Bull impersonation. Well, look, you know, Frank and I know Frank forever too. Frank and Jimmy, you know, they're all they grew up together. They're all from down. Well, they're all from those are Long Island boys. You know. Yeah. Kevin Callen got my shirts. Uh, he ordered my shirts. He got a couple, and he said he's uh, he ordered some Momo merch. He said it was they're nice shirts. Yeah, I don't this know. Is, this is the new cat. This is the new cat. Hi, oh, look at that. Look at the new cat. Oh, that's big. That's big. No, she's fourteen years old. She's old, so you couldn't leave her on the street. She's yeah. got like a grumpy face, grumpy cat face. Look at it. Grumpy. <laughs> <laughs> hey, don't don't get mad because the other cat's here. Uh, dude, I have, my friend has a cat, and that fucking thing is vicious. If you walk in, it's like a dog. It bites you and shit like that. I'm, get that thing, you know, it'll jump across the room. <laughs> at your, ah, I'm like, get the fuck, are you crazy? It he's probably, probably giving a test. He's giving a uh, test, Austria. I, yeah, right. <laughs> <laughs> Ironically, now it's a training cat. <laughs> yeah, it's a training cat. He's giving it a test. Hey, Kylo, I have a little cat. My youngest cat's amazed by the new one, so it's been inquisitive, but the newer cat... Because it's older, is it used to him? Because it's been on the streets, so it's probably had stray cats try and fight it. So now when it sees my cats, it's a bit like. <laughs> <laughs> well, my little cat wants to play with it, so he's school. He's too cool yet. I'm slowly, he's slowly slowly introducing him. It's a girl or a female? Is it female or male cat? Female, female, female. She's, street she's streetwise. She's been on the street. <laughs> hey, did you so, see that? Remember that? Remember that? Um, remember that cartoon? Top cat, yeah, yeah, top cat, sure, yeah, mm -hmm. <laughs> top cat, yes. <laughs> what was it? Was it officer, officer dribble or something? Was it officer dribble? It was it? Whatever. Uh, officer, someone that the top would always come up and, and he'd be making the phone calls using the phone phone thing illegally off the power pole. Remember making phone yes. calls? <laughs> <laughs> oh, yeah. You see that flood in uh, Dubai? No. Yes. Yes. Really? Yeah. The yeah. whole city's underwater. That's because yeah. it's, it's built. I think it's built on the um, airport. Yeah. The airport. Yeah. Fucking yeah. climate change. Climate change. It's sinking. Yeah. Climate uh, change, man. Uh, Jimmy's going to talk about that. I don't that. like to get political, but I must say, come on, America. <laughs> this trial with Donald Trump. Oh. Come on. Like the biggest, 
Joy Reid and those and the other people, like Joy Reid on her TV show and the people on The View, I've never seen such racist people. And Joy Reid, stop white white appropriation with your stupid little blonde wig trying to look like Ellen DeGeneres. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. They always say about cultural appropriation when white people have dreads and that, well, stop wearing white wigs, Joy Reid. It doesn't do you good, okay? Remember even, even uh, what's his name there, fucking Al Sharpton? Back in the 80s and 90s, used to have his hair long, you know, put a little blonde in it and shit. You know what I mean? Like, you know, straighten the hair out and stuff. They're all full of shit, though. They're all full of shit. They'll say anything. But this whole trial thing, the Bragg brought up this trial. It was a misdemeanor. He's trying to make it a felon. The statute of limitations ran out. It's total fucking bullshit. Come on. It's like, of course. And they talk about Putin. Oh, Putin. No one's ever going to beat Putin at the elections because of what they do. Yet you're doing the same thing to Trump. You're doing exactly, and you know, <laughs> the same thing that that fucking that little that little fucking dictator over there in Ukraine that everybody oh. seems to love. You if fuckers people can't see that's the biggest biggest scam ever. That guy is the biggest whining up. whining bitch ever with his hand out. And Joe's promised him what another two hundred billion or a hundred billion dollars, even if Trump got in. That's like the biggest. That Zelensky in Ukraine is the biggest fucking scam ever. There's something. Follow the money trail there, people. Come on. Give me a break. <laughs> and then these other things, too, i got to bring up while I just saw it on the news. I get it off my chest because it pisses me off because I lived there for 20 years, but I'm Australian, but I still, I went to America. I got my green card legally and lived mm -hmm. the American dream, which people should do. You go in fucking legally, people, not illegally. People go, oh, you just let them in. It's like, okay, you just want to say let them in because they're down on their luck? Or you bleeding hearts, leave your fucking front door open at night. There's a lot of people on the street who need a place to stay and live. Don't don't worry about asking them what they've done or where they're from. Just open your door up so when you're in bed at night, they can maybe come in and watch TV, lay on your couch. What are you scared of? But back to these other dickheads, these <laughs> Palestinian fucking dickheads that keep blocking bridges in San Francisco and that. Then you get these fucking ones and the high up ones yelling deaf to America. I'm sorry. You start yelling deaf to America, you get the fuck out. Go, and then they say... Mm. Go be a Palestinian. Go over... How many Palestinians do you yeah. think can't death to Gaza, over in Gaza? You yeah, would get... Okay. You would get... First of all, and it's a bunch of white, spoiled, rich kids oh, yeah. wearing their fucking African garb and a hijab. The girls in the Middle East are trying to get... You know, they in the hijab. They want, you know, they want to be able to have the freedom yeah. to walk around normal. And uh, look at the female bodybuilder that was from Iran. And well, what she about, yeah. What about some of the? They asked. They asked some of these politicians, American politicians, do you condemn the people saying death to America? And they wouldn't even say yes. No, they got a waffle. They got a waffle. Well, you don't understand that people. It doesn't, other, it doesn't matter what side I, you're on. If someone's I, chanting death to America, and you're a true American or you're an American politician, anyone saying death to America, you should condemn that straight away. Stop yeah. burning the American flag. You burn the American flag, yeah. you go to jail. But you, but the thing is, is you get these white, rich, liberal kids. It's always been that way. They don't yeah. have the same people Antifa. It's the same people, you know. It's the okay. same. It's the same. You see, Soros, Soros bailed a lot of those people out on the bridge. The ones who are getting arrested. But to me, it's like people burn the American flag. That should be a jail time because you, you rightly know, if you and I went somewhere and we burnt the pride oh, flag, that would be a hate crime. Would be locked up for a hate crime burning the pride oh, yeah. flag, oh, yeah. but they can burn the American flag like it's fucking nothing. They do it here in Australia. Well, that's... they burn the Australian flag. Well, when you really, they do. They do it there. Donald Trump in New York. You got savages fucking killing people on the streets, throwing people in front of the subway, and they get off. You know, what I mean, it's, believe it or not, they, they, there's no bill, but they want to put Donald Trump in jail because he paid some fucking porn. Star. And now they're saying, well, he should have used it out of his campaign money. What? What the fuck? You know, if he did that, then you'd really... It, they're, they're nuts. They're all fucking nuts. Yeah, that's all bullshit. You know, even that left-wing fucking nut lawyer, Michael Avenatti, who was her lawyer, he's now in prison, right? And they mm -hmm. talked about prison the other day, CNN, and he said, she's fucking nuts. She's mm -hmm. an American. So now he's going against her, too. Well, it was all, it was all a scam. Oh, he's Kylo. It was all a scam because they Kylo. paid her the hush money. And she even said they didn't have sex in one of her fucking interviews or one of her books. It's like, it's so fucking shit. Of course. It's terrible. Mm -hmm. Stupidest mm -hmm. thing I've ever heard. Guy didn't even commit a crime. And they, they're, they're making yeah. this into a grand fucking thing. <clears throat> and meanwhile, New York, I live here, man. In New York right yeah. now, 
full of savagery. It's a joke. I got, I got this shirt here. My wife stole it off me. I'll show you this good shirt. <laughs> Joe, it looks like when I'm sitting here, it looks like I'm wearing one of your shirts. Look, I, I was just saying, it looks like you're wearing one of my shirts because of that, the symbols right there. I was thinking the same look at, thing. Look at this great, look at this great shirt. Wow. Time indictment champ. Champion Donald Trump. It's got like four, four rings on, four time indictment. I love Trump. that. Mm. <laughs> Where'd you get this? Somebody sent it to you or did you, you find you found um, it? Officer, you know, Brandon Tatum. Oh, yeah, Brandon Tatum. Wow. Yeah. That's a nice shirt. I like that. What, so what happened to the, the jurors on the Trump? They said they took... Well, two, uh, one of them quit. Yeah, one two of them quit. quit. Because she said, I can't take it. It's, uh, but, and the other one... The other uh, one, something happened. The other one they found that the other one was a, was a plant. In other words, it was a Trump hater trying to... Oh, uh, see? Once was a conservative yeah. went and tried to... Fuck you how could you get people who say, well, what do I have to do? I'm sure when they pick someone, they'll have to go through their... Instagram, Facebook history to see what they're posted about and shit, or Twitter. Because mm -hmm. how can you find jurors that aren't partial in New York? Half of them hate him, and oh, I've never heard anything about this. They got their mind made up before they go in. Come on, absolutely, mm -hmm. man, absolutely. They know they're picking people. They, dude, there's lawyers and shit who are Democratic. Don't the judge, oh. the judge's daughter's involved oh, judge. somehow, and and he's a fucking. He's a Democratic donor. Oh, yeah. He's trying to put a gag order on Trump, but yet everyone else can talk about it. And now Bragg wants to hold Trump in contempt because Trump just shared some posts that idiots like that said. They're like, yeah, mm -hmm. he's not saying anything. He's just resharing a post. So that's like going after WikiLeaks' Julian Assange. He never stole the information. He just put the information out that was given to him. <laughs> wow. Well, the thing is, is that this fucking guy has it out for Trump. They all do. Yeah. And it's amazing how you can commit crime, murder, and all kinds of shit in this <laughs> state. But if you fucking, I mean, if some guy paid a porn star for sex fucking how many years yeah. ago? And they're, they're trying to crucify him for that. I mean, yeah. and how many of these guys in Congress and Senate and fucking ex-presidents have been banging in they the did, <laughs> And then you're not just banging chicks. They're banging young chicks. They're banging boys. They're banging, you know what I mean? You know that as well as I do. That's just bullshit. Men of power. You know, you know what I was if I was Trump, I'd play mafia. I'd hire some fucking guy, right? That's a private detective, and I would have him fucking look into that judge and all there's gotta be some dirt somewhere. Even you, that last judge on the on the Oh my uh, god, the one that was the cab driver. Your, 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 your property your property's only worth eighteen million in Florida, but then but then when they wanted to seize it, they're saying it's worth like three hundred and forty million if we seize it. I'm like, how did it go from eighteen to three hundred and forty million? It's like, come on, close is the place is probably close to do a billion dollars for fuck's sake. Yeah, man, it's it's fucking look at his story with Kevin. Kevin what said happened? before he got out, he had a transgender transgender soldier and he had a huge issue with him. Look, read his <laughs> comment there. If you can see. He got in trouble yeah, for what it. What it sounds like what it sounds like Riley Gaines when they complained about that woman, man, going into the female bathroom with his dick out. Yes. They were told they need to go get counselling and acceptance. It's like, wait a minute. He's coming into our change room with his dick out. Why do we mm -hmm. need to go get acceptance or whatever? It's like, listen, if you've got it cut off, then you can go in there. But if you've still got it dangling, you go in the male toilet or just go in the handicap one that's by itself. You don't go in the women's. And look at that one. Look at the guy at Planet Fitness who went in there. Dick out, shaven. The <laughs> woman complained. The woman complained, and they canceled her membership. But these aren't real transgenders. The, the fucking guy had a mustache yeah. beard. Was in there. For, uh, for yeah. his beard. Yeah, he was shaving and everything. He had a beard, and mustache. It, oh yeah. People who are nuts. And, and you know what? Yeah. It's just like it's just like you know. Uh, uh, you, you and I both. You know, you grow. You know, you had you lived with Chris Cormier for a while, and all this. These guys, no, Paul Delette. black people. Uh, who are who are fine? There's no wrong, you know. But when you see some savage out there doing something, people yeah. see. Look at all these black. It has nothing to do with your skin color. Just like you all that, that. You see that last. What about that last black guy that just got shot? And they shot him like seventy times or whatever happened. He's but yet they're to trying to make out he's so nice and that. But yet, oh, they pulled me over because I'm black. Wait what? a minute, they pulled you over with tinted windows. They couldn't see the color of your skin for the beginning, like most of the times. So but then. Hold he on. pulls a gun out and shoots got the someone cop coming they returned, in. They returned fire and they got all upset. He was such a nice boy. 
Look who it is, Jimmy. guys. Oh, there he is. There he is. We've been waiting for your grand entrance. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> How you been, brother? Hey, what's going on, man? Hey, what's going on? I agree with you. It is the finish. But, I um, heard I heard Greg's talking before I even got on the show. I was, I... <laughs> <laughs> he's, he's, out, he's outside your window, Jimmy. Yeah. I, was, I, was, I, was, I was getting on. I was on the phone. I heard him going. I was like, oh, shit, that's, that's got to be Greg. <laughs> <laughs> hey, Jimmy, I was telling Leo, I, I talked to you on Monday. You were pissed because you thought they didn't send you the link until, you, until we discussed it. And <laughs> That's why I sent Jimmy the link, link twice. <laughs> Just so we had it in every way. No, you know, I even called the son of a bitch. He didn't even answer the phone, right? <laughs> <laughs> I'm saying I'm I was you know I was I was home so I was like you know I, I could do the show today you know I'm like oh, I'm saying hey, well, that's freaking like one o'clock one twenty one one thirty I said one four what the hell is wrong with him man I said right <laughs> and all of a sudden I called Greg I said you you want to show you because Jimmy today's Monday man I said oh, <laughs> <my God." laughs> I asked Jimmy you mean last week and he goes look today he didn't send me the goddamn link I told yeah. him I told him he didn't send me a link he ignored my phone call I said it's, well today's Monday you mean for tomorrow. Yeah, right, yeah. <laughs> all right, Joe, I'm like, oh, my right, God. Joe. I don't even know what freaking right, day it Joe, is. Start. Joe, is your phone not turned sideways, Joe? Come on, what are you doing? No, mine? <laughs> no, why? I don't know. Your phone looks straight up and down with the screen completely out. Yeah, it's it does. Like ver vertical instead of horizontal. There you go. Well, yeah, there. Hey, hey, you're welcome. There you go. <laughs> There you go. Ah, How's that? Better? better. All right. Better. All right, Joe. Start reading out the confessions. Oh, that's the wrong show. <laughs> wrong show. <laughs> What's funny, Jim, when Jimmy came on yesterday, the fucking tips were banging in there, banging in there. And I'm like, oh, did you? yeah. Well, oh, Jimmy, now you got money. And I'm like, that ain't never. They won. bought a new car. <laughs> yeah. yeah. <laughs> and didn't John? John was going at Jimmy straight away. Yeah. He was <laughs> like, I know it's like I got in the, I feel like I got in a ring. You know, and all of a sudden, like, you know, John just started going at me, you know what I mean? It's like I'm like, Wait, what the hell is wrong with him, man? Mm -hmm. You know? He, you know, then I was he he you know he did we I don't know that I I don't know if I brought the eclipse up or he did, I can't remember. <laughs> but I tried to explain it to them and it, then he starts talking about kidding. Mr. Was, G's there too. Are you bringing him on, Jay, Jay George? I can bring him on. Bring him on. Yep, I'll bring him on. Hold on. Yeah, that was you, funny. Guys, you guys keep talking. I'll, I'll bring him on. Who brought up the eclipse? One of them brought up the eclipse. Something, no, somebody brought I it up. They did. I think Dave oh, said, I know. I think uh, what, what happened, Lee? Dave did. I think Dave said, had explained the eclipse. Oh, shit. No, no, what he said was that one of the fans said yeah. to him, yeah. ask Jimmy what he thinks about the eclipse or whatever, something like that. So, uh, mm -hmm. so I naturally, you know, I'm going to explain it because you know I'm I'm totally into that. So they're too uh, they're too closed minded, Jimmy. They're too closed minded. And then they are. And then I mentioned, I said, you know, me and Lee always do that. You mm -hmm. know, we we. And you John's know, like, isn't that beautiful? How yeah, romantic! Right. <laughs> yeah, I said. Hey, then I, then I said, then remember I, the time I filmed it? I filmed the moon and the sun in the sky. He did. And Jimmy and I, and I put that song somewhere out there from American <laughs> Tale to it. Yeah, 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 I remember. <laughs> Mr. G, the link's in the uh, chat, Mr. G. <laughs> yeah, so then I, I started, you know, then I had to elaborate as soon as, as soon as they said, you know, John said that, like, oh, Lee, oh, and I, Jimmy and Lee, oh, you know. So I said, yeah. I said, Lee, you know, he strolls along the beach. He sings to me. I said, that's what friends yeah. do, man. I said, you don't even fucking call yeah. me. <laughs> you know I mean? I, at least Lee <laughs> sings to me and walks on the beach. I, you know, he, I was funny that one time we did that, Lee. I was, <laughs> he was down by the ocean. <laughs> he was pointing to the ships out there and stuff. That was good. <laughs> uh, Jimmy, what's the reason for the floods in Dubai? The earth is starting to go level or? Huh, no, huh, no, I think. Well, the from, weather system. Yeah, they said that actually one of the posts I read, they said that they were messing with the weather modification because they had uh, very, they're very dry over we there. You got Mr. G just joined Mr. us. Mr. G. G. Hey, guys. There he is. George A. George A. Hey, Jimmy. Lee. What's going on, Fred? brother? Hey. How you doing? This? this is the real podcast. Here. This is the real <laughs> podcast. RX is, 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 is old. It's done. <laughs> Georgie, you sent me that. What does he got there? What's that? Potato chips? Cool, or popcorn? Oh, I was going to say. Uh, it looked like popcorn. Yeah. My whole, my whole body's cramping up. Uh, I like kettle corn. I like 
I like the kettle corn, sweet and salty. Mm. See, Mr. Yeah, I saw you hitting the bag to, uh, today. The video is great. Well, yeah, today, I was just going to say that. Was, yeah. Today I had De this guy, Devin. With, yeah. I can't hear you. You're, you're not. You're, you're, Can you hear me now? Yeah, I hear you now. Go ahead. Uh, today, so today was today was our, our with all the fighters <laughs> trained today. So we were training. We were training today, and uh, hello. What happened to my volume? Oh, go ahead. So I had this guy Devin. This guy Devin, who's uh, George. You got to lower your phone a little, brother. You, I only yeah. I can't even see your chin. Yeah, lower your phone down, George. <laughs> ah, there, there you go. go. Hey. Hey. Oh, hey. I want to see that beautiful face. You know what I'm saying? You're, you're cutting it off. I, I was sleep. I was, I was, I was, I was laying down because my whole body is is destroyed from today. I mean, I, I had this guy Devin who's six seven, two two seventy five. Um, we were, awesome. we were doing talking about. <laughs> Wait, you fought a guy six seven, two seventy five? Yeah. Today, well, today we were training. He was, he was, he was training with me today. Yeah. Wow. Jesus, wow. that's tough. He, he, he's probably telling people. That's it. Like, oh, he's probably telling people. <laughs> <laughs> no, but this guy, this guy, Jimmy, this guy's telling people. George, you just like <laughs> the, 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 whatever you, you just like stop, bro. What happened? <laughs> <laughs> we're ready for a knockout or some blood, and we're just Jimmy, George, we're George, gonna jog around the block once or twice, man. Anyway, Jimmy, Jimmy, you know, instead, Jimmy, I got the worst. <laughs> <laughs> you must have got George knocked around a little bit, Jimmy. Jimmy, Jimmy, uh, yeah, for an hour and a half. <laughs> yeah, an hour and a half. The guy is it? First, we do drills. We do lights. We we do light sparring with each other, yeah. punching, kicking, right? MMA. Then we do, then we then we do cage uh, work against the, against the cage, where I come in, he comes in, and I he, he punches in. I got to defend him, and then, and then he goes to take me down, and then ground and pound, and I got to try and get out. And now this guy is, this guy teaches there, so uh -huh. no, nobody will go with him. Yeah. There we go. Oh, who the hell's going to go Mr. with a guy? Six, Mr. seven, twenty, thirty, five pounds. Well, I got to go with him. Yeah. I want him yeah. to give me the, the I, I want him to go through the toughest shit I got to go through. You want that was the hardest treatment. by far. Yeah. That yeah, was I like. Uh, I said, that's nothing. He did it for two and a half hours. I said, John Romano said, that's nothing. He did it for two and a half hours. Every guy, every guy did. <laughs> ran away. None of the other guys are too small. They. Greg, you're gonna get him going. <laughs> yeah, I'm glad. I'm George, glad, I don't I'm care what anybody says. I'm glad. I'm glad Mr. G's talking now. For a second, when he come on, I thought it was Joe Biden. He just kept talking. <laughs> yeah, he just. <laughs> he, he just. Froze. I know that. He just froze. I was like, he was like, I fought a guy today, six, uh, six, seven, two, seven, hey, five. And, remember, he just, George, and he froze. <laughs> George, George is telling us. He's Jim telling us how we fought a guy. Yeah. George is saying I fought a guy hey, six, what? seven. Why am I hearing the echo? <laughs> I, I hear what's happening. I hear like a delay. Uh, oh, well, is that well, what you got to remember this guy's probably telling people that he fought George, 66 yeah, really. years old. And this old yeah. guy kept coming at me and kept coming at me. This old guy's talking like about Rocky, George. He's like Rocky Marciano. You can't take no, George down. On, on. This, yeah. show, this show is too positive for George. Hold on. Let me change. <laughs> let me change hats for a minute. Let me change hats. Come on, George. What are you doing? Stick to cookies. You're going to get hurt. What are you fighting for? That's ridiculous. Come on, George. Just stay home. Stop doing this. I want, I, want, I want you to feel like you're on after hours. Come on, George. What are you doing doing that? Come on. This is ridiculous. Make cookies. Stick to cookies. Only one cookie, though. Don't get carried away making him the cookies. You're going to get lost. Focus on one thing, George. Focus on one thing. Uh, <laughs> Debbie kicked me. In the, I call him, I call him the Black Mantis because he got big dreadlocks, six seven, right? So he kicked me in the head so so hard. He's like, oh oh. I go, don't worry, I'm Irish. I don't. It doesn't bother me. George, I don't care what anybody says, man. 
You get out there and you go with those guys. You you got you yeah. got balls like coconuts, man. Because because that uh, takes a lot of guts to do that. Uh, Even man. the training part. It of does. It. I and I always said any, anybody who could surf waves at, at George's age, man, is a tough son of a bitch. I I can't even get up. I couldn't even get up on a board. I tell you the truth. <laughs> yeah. You know. I like to see. I like to see Jimmy paddling that every time I watch him. If you saw me out there, Lee, I'd have those bubbles on my arms. You know the ones with the kids wear them? <laughs> because I would drown. All right. If I oh, if I fell would. off that board, I'd go down like a ton of shit. Uh, <laughs> Jimmy, I get you out there the first the first day. We go right out. I, I'd love to do it with you, George. I really would, man. Yeah. I'd, be, I'd, be, I'd be shitting my pants, but I would love to. Try, I would, I'd love to try that, you know. We've been out there with sharks. Yeah. Sharks, fuck that. Yeah, that's what I gotta say. Oh. I'll have Jimmy walking on water like Jesus when he's out there. Like, <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that would look like Roadrunner on the top of the water. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, that's the only thing that would scare me was was, was the shark thing. That, that's that's scary, you know. Yeah, I, I've gotten chased out a couple times by sharks. Did you? Yeah. 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 Actually, crazy. like four times. Well, oh, one time I'm surfing times. the pier, and there's nobody in the water, and all the guys are fishing, right? <laughs> so, there's nobody in the water, so I'm like, oh, the waves are pretty good. Let me go in. <laughs> and all the fishermen, about 10 of them, like, there's sharks underneath you. Oh, because they can, you because know, they're like twenty feet up. Yeah, yeah, they can see. They can see, right? Yeah. Yep. Yeah. I oh. just kept going, right? You didn't care. He probably. I wish they didn't tell me. I don't. I'd rather not know. <laughs> we're gonna, we're gonna get a video of George like Nick. We're gonna get a video of George like Nick Fanning fucking punching the shark while he's trying to surf. Oh, Mick, <laughs> yeah, Mick. Yeah, when they, Mick got attacked in in uh, in, Flo yeah. in South Africa. Yeah, hey, yeah but, uh, you see the fin in his board, and he's trying to punch it. <laughs> That's crazy. That Lee, that happened during that happened during an actual contest. Yeah, yeah. That's why it was on camera. Yeah, then the guy come and got him and towed him away really quick. <laughs> I saw that movie recently with that girl who got her arm chewed. Uh, actually, oh chewed yeah, off. that um, true. Yeah, that story. She was Australian. Well, she Australian, wasn't she? That girl, or? and she's back to surfing again too. Yeah, she went back. She lost well, back. The only problem is, though, if you're on the board, I've always wondered this when I watch. You know, they got the, um, you know, like the Olympics, but it's like the special Olympics. What do they call it? The something <laughs> Olympics. Handic they're like handicapped. You oh, know, yeah, they have, we used like, to take, you talk about people, paralyzed people. Yeah, people like, but you get the ones, like, you get them, like, swimmers with one arm and a surfer with one arm. I'm thinking... Now that takes skill because you've got to think if you're in a canoe, you've got to paddle both sides. If I'm swinging, swimming one arm, wouldn't I just swim in fucking circles? <laughs> no, you. How do you? If you're paddling on your board one arm, wouldn't you be going this way? <laughs> yeah. Well, the, you was... know what, Lee? Because the board's kind of the board's kind of long. It was at least uh... six foot long, so so you'd have to really like go like this sideways to make it spin around. <laughs> mm. Yeah. You know, but uh, and then, and then it was funny because I, I watched that movie and then I watched another movie with that woman. She was, uh, and it reminded me of you, George, because she was 60 in her 60s and she swam from Cuba to. Oh, to, yeah. Uh, uh, yeah. To yeah I was going to gonna, gonna watch that. Is that, is that a good movie? A true really story, good yeah. movie. Lee. Really good movie, man. Yeah. That woman was swimming during the night, man, with yeah. jellyfish and all kinds of shit out there in the ocean. And she just she was she was one determined woman, man. I I, I really enjoyed that movie. That the the spirit of that woman. And she was like sixty years old, I think, or something. Yeah. Oh, really? And she made it, right? Yeah. yeah she no, no. With Georgia, it took her. She it took her years. She she yeah. had like a four or five attempts. Her girlfriend. Um, I, I forget the actress. Uh, was Jody maybe Jody Forster? Was Jody Forster, maybe? No. Yeah. yeah. And so, she kept telling them, them. And that and that Benning's not in that, is it? It's one of them where they haven't got makeup on, so they look a lot older than what they are. Ah, I did see that. Yeah, yeah. It's she, on, she did look, it's on, it's on Netflix. I think it's on Netflix, isn't it? It is. Yeah, it's on Netflix. Yeah. yeah. So she tried it like uh, I think she attempted to swim like four or five times, and people were telling her to give it up, it's over, stop, you're crazy. And her girlfriend was like, yeah. "You're out of your mind, stop!" You know, she almost died yeah. a couple of times. I mean, yeah, I, I seen that. Yeah, yeah. I'm glad, then, I'm glad, like, I'm glad she, she getting... didn't go on. I'm glad she didn't go on after hours. Oh, 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 oh. <laughs> <laughs> they would have killed. They would have killed her dreams. <laughs> 
Oh, it was a great movie. You got to watch it, man. It was the, the, the human spirit. That's really what the whole movie was about. And she just never gave up. I mean, she was getting delirious. A couple of times I had to pull her in the boat. She almost, you know, she was like, uh, she reached the point halfway across. I think it was 120 miles, 130 miles. Well, I think like. they pulled her was hypothermia. She had hypothermia. Yeah. yeah, that's what it was. Yeah. Because the water's fucking, that water's freezing. And you're right. in the fucking... Yeah. You know, for hours. I don't know how the hell she did it, man. And they actually put a light on her so they could see her in the, at, right. uh, at night. You know, because uh, that's how the sharks she, can see her. The <laughs> no, they had the she had a shock. They had it all like no. planned out. It was it was it was a great movie, man. It really was. But uh, yeah, I don't know. I think you should watch it. It's, it's when you're crazy. in the water that long, when you're in the water that long, it yeah. uh, even if the water is even if the water is ninety degrees, if yeah. you're what happens is it's standing in that water because when we used to do surf lessons, you get these young guys that would come in and be like the middle of summer and it'd be like 90 degrees out, the water would be like 80. And we tell them, listen, you gotta wear a wetsuit. They're like, why? It's too warm. I go, trust me, if you're standing in the water for longer than an hour, your body temperature is mm. gonna drop like a, like a half a degree. And sure as shit, they would run out. And so that's what happens. I tell you, George, I don't, even, I don't even know how that woman, forget about all that. I don't even know how she stayed afloat for that many hours, man. <laughs> <laughs> the last time I was in the water, I tell you a quick story. I was in Lake George, right? Oh, and, shit. And uh -oh. you know those, uh, you know those uh, floating decks, you know, they're out in the middle. Yeah. Of the water. yeah. yeah. <laughs> so my, my kids were out there. So I, 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 I swam out to the, to, I think I swam out there. Maybe I took a boat. I can't remember. So I went, I got out there and, uh, you took daughter, a boat, Jimmy. You I took, took a boat. boat. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I took a boat right <laughs> So my daughter, she was, she had a, a ball, you know, and she she kicked it or hit it, whatever, and the ball went off the the floating dock, you know, away from the, you know, away from the beach, you know. So I said, don't worry, honey, I get it, Gabby, don't worry. And I dove in the water, and I was going after the ball, you know, and I'm swimming, and the freaking ball kept, you know, moving out as I'm swimming, and I'm sw I'm swimming, and the ball kept going. I'm swimming. Finally, I got the ball. Right. <laughs> yeah, we were, yeah, it was a flat earth because it was never ending. <laughs> so I finally, I, I, I got the ball and I turned around right, and I had the ball and I'm in the water and I look at the dock. It's all the way over there. I'm like, holy shit. I just, I'm a long way from the dock, right? So I started to go back and I had, I had to let the ball go. I couldn't come back with the ball. And then I started sinking. And I said, I'm gonna die out here, man, right in front of my kids. So I started, I kept, I kept swimming. Then I would go underwater and I, would, I did the frog thing underwater. Then I came up, got a little air, went back under, did the frog thing. I couldn't, I couldn't swim, bro. I was sinking. Jimmy, I finally Jimmy, got Jimmy's to ex wife is standing on the beach going, he's okay, he doesn't need help. <laughs> oh, yeah, oh, yeah. <laughs> she wasn't there, but if she was, she would have like said, oh, all right, Jimmy's good. Let's go inside, guys. Let's get in the water. Let a bit me further, out there, Jimmy. You know? Keep going. Yeah, 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 yeah. I tell you, though, I, I got to tell you, when, when I finally got to the dock and I held on to the, to the dock, I was like, oh, my God. I thought I was going to die. I really did. I was gonna, I'm was going. i like a piece of lead in water, bro. I don't know what happened. And this to me, is, and this I was, is why uh, Jimmy joined the Marines and not the Navy SEALs. <laughs> That's true. Well, I got, I got to tell you the truth. When I was in the Marine Corps, you know, I was young, of course, but they put you in the pool and you got to wear all your stuff, man. You got to wear your mm. uniform, your boots, oh, yeah, everything, right? And you, mm -hmm. Yeah. And then, and then we'd all get in the water and then you'd have to tread for, uh, I don't know. Oh, oh, that's what we did. We had to take our shirt off and tie the sleeves in a knot on the end, right? And the front and the neck off. And then you take the shirt and you go over your head onto the water and it actually blows mm. up with air because the shirt's wet. And it acts like mm. a flotation. That's what they taught us, mm. right? So we had to do all that out there. But a lot of guys were sinking because it takes a long time to do that, right? Did you tell them there's not many oceans. There's no fucking big oceans or water in Iraq. We don't need to do this shit. Oh, yeah, no, in Iraq, yeah. <laughs> It's like when Straight you get on the plane I, and you're I, flying. I, I, it's like when I get on a plane, I'm flying across Australia. It's all desert. Now, in case of an emergency, you need the life vest. I'm like, for what? If we crash in the fucking <laughs> desert, I'm going to be like, <laughs> I, I, yeah, the woman did. got mad at me again the other day because I was sitting behind the exit row. Oh, I'm a bit of a joke today, but they take this serious. In case of an emergency, are you people all right to do the emergency thing? And they're like, yes, yes. So I'm sitting behind. I just said, excuse me. If they're like decapitated, am I next in line to do the door <laughs> just in case? <laughs> I just wanted to know who's in charge in case they get killed when we crash. Mm -hmm. What's the door? They look at you like, what, what? Let's not. And they're like, now know where the exit doors are. There's two at the back, two at the front. And I'm like, and the big hole in the roof when it blows open. Yeah, right. <laughs> yeah, yeah, exactly. Which yeah. I've seen in movies. I've seen that happen in yeah. movies. Happens whatever. in real life. It's a real yeah. life. Fuck, man, it's bad, though. Yeah. So anyway, let me finish my story. So 
Now, now yeah. we're doing the shirt thing in the pool, right? And then, you know, then they, then we start, a lot of guys started drowning. So they start swimming to the side of the pool. And the DIs are standing, they're standing at the edge of the pool. No shit. But they got this big stick. And they're pushing you back out of the pool <laughs> as you're drowning, right? <laughs> you, I mean, this is what they did to us. You got to go, like, totally under and not come back up. And then they, they send the frog guy in there to get you out of there. You know? <laughs> That's what they did. They were like, they actually drowned you. <laughs> pool, that was you, crazy. Put, you put your hands on the side of the pool and they jump on your fingers? <laughs> no, they step on them. They start stepping on your hand. <laughs> Jesus <laughs> crazy. Christ. Yeah, that was crazy. That's what they did. I saw a lot of guys get pushed back out with the stick and they drowned. You know, that reminds me like, of was... that good movie. What was that good movie with, um, was it De Niro and Cuba Gooding Jr. when he wanted to be a Navy diver in that big oh, old yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. yeah. No, that, was, that, was a, that was a true story. What was that called? That one. That was a good um, movie. Crimson Tide. No, no. no. Well, Crimson Tide was a Russian type no. one, wasn't it? I remember that shit. We go under the water and shit. Yeah. Oh man, I forgot. Yeah, he wanted to be a Navy thing, and he hurt his leg even, but he wanted to do the job in that. Remember, a Navy yeah. such was such and such. A Navy thing would do this. Get up and walk, and he's making it. That's a pretty mm -hmm. good movie. Men of Honor. Thank you. Somebody Men said. Of, yeah. Men of oh, Honor. Yeah, that's a great movie. Men of Honor. Shinobi said that. Yeah, Mr. Mr. G is uh, Charlie Rosa fighting this weekend? Uh, Charlie's Charlie's fighting uh, May third in uh, May third. Okay, at Foxwoods in Connecticut. Gotcha, gotcha. Uh, okay, so he's, he, he's fighting. Um, and then uh, he's fighting in a new organization it's called CES, which is a, he was in the UFC last year, and but they don't they don't make that much money unless you're the top dog, right? Yeah. So. Um, He's in CES, which is a new Northeast organ up and coming organization. So he's going to get paid a lot more money. So he's fighting for the world championship in that. Yep. You know, and so he, there's a lot more opportunity. It's yeah, good competition. It's, 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 it's not me calling Jimmy. It's not me calling Jimmy. <laughs> no, I, I went to put the volume up on the phone. Mm. And, uh, I don't know. What now, people, people are saying here in the comments, I've seen it a lot because when that guy from Mexico was abusing his cat, Dave was throwing Jimmy under the bus. He's yes, like, Lee, I saw that. You Lee, how, how can you get mad at this guy from Mexico when Jimmy used to beat up his ex-girl's cat or something? We've lost Jimmy. We've we lost, lost him. Jimmy now. We lost him. He yeah. can jump back in. All he's got to do is click the thing. I think his volume thing is fucking around. Why? When we, Jimmy wasn't doing that. No, I I, something Dave said they're saying. I don't know. I don't, I don't know what that was. Now Dave said it. Dave's like, Lee, how can you get mad at him when Jimmy, your friend, used to beat up his girlfriend's cat? I got him. Listen, I suck at now, this. Now, this Jimmy, thing. Jimmy, Dave was throwing you under the bus when I was going off at that guy. He's like, Lee, how can you get mad at this guy? Jimmy used to abuse and beat up his girlfriend's okay. cat. Yes. Well, now, so Dave threw me under the bus? Yeah, Jimmy used to beat up his girl's cat. I said, "Look, Jimmy oh. probably didn't beat it up." I could see Jimmy just shooing the cat away, like, "Yeah, I didn't beat it up, man." I used to chase it around with a broomstick, though, but I, I didn't beat him up. I could never, <laughs> I could never, I could never catch the son of a. Listen, I told that story. <laughs> I came home from work. This is going back years ago. I was starving, so my 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 wife at the time, you know, she made the chicken, baked chicken, right? Uh, so I remember that the cat, the cat stole it, didn't it? Yeah, the it? cat, the, the Persian <laughs> cats, they're, they're big cats. So what I, what I, you know, I, I, I just about to sit down, eat my dinner. The phone rang. I got up to get the phone. I, I get, and I turn around as I'm on the phone. And I see the, the, I turn around, the cat's on the, the table with the chicken leg in his mouth. I said, you son of a bitch. You know what I mean? So I, I started to go in that he took off with the chicken leg, right? So I'm running around the house with the broom. I'm trying to, <laughs> trying to get it with the broom. And the freaking cat disappeared. I never saw my chicken leg again. I didn't see that cat until, that, until uh, my my wife at the time came home, uh, like five in the morning. Oh no, Dave! Dave made out like as I was telling Dave because Dave said he's not abusing it, Lee. I said Dave, he is. He's punching it. He's doing whatever. Well, your friend Jimmy abused the cat. He fucking did this and beat up the cat. I'm like, Jimmy didn't do that. No, I didn't do it. I, didn't. I, couldn't, even, I couldn't even catch the bastard. <laughs> mm -hmm. That Mexican dude, he, he videotaped it and put it up on, yeah, on the internet. Yeah, and they, because he lost his sponsorship, all the Mexican fans are mad at me. Every picture I put up, they're like, You abused your ex wife. There's a court lawsuit. You put her in hospital. You raped your wow. daughter. This is this is what they, everything they post on my pictures now. They talk about me abusing my wife and raping my daughter. Mm -hmm. <laughs> But that guy just if, if he if he videotaped it yeah and put on that 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 means 
it's pretty pretty messed up. I yeah. don't feel yeah. about it. We'll say, you got Tony Bioli priest. They're saying he's racist. Meanwhile, he's had fucking. You can't listen. Uh, First of all, at the border, at the border, bullshit. Where they're letting all the illegals in. There's like, yeah. I think there's like eighteen thousand dogs that they leave there, they, and they bring. There's a place here in Palm Beach that's a big ranch that goes and rescues all those dogs and brings them here. So See, I'm I mean, a dog guy. I'm not really a cat guy. doing that because if the guy's doing that, he's got all these people following him. So they all uh, think he's it's got like a million, a million followers, and they're all yeah. I mean, that's it, it, they and should course, know that. Course, and the thing is, he filmed it. I'm thinking, what does he do that he doesn't film for one? And he gave the cat, he gave the cat pre-workout as well. He filmed oh, that, Jesus. and somebody said he did something to his dogs, but I'm not sure on that story yet. But because he lost his sponsorship, everyone's Lee, you ruined his career. I'm like, I didn't ruin his career. I didn't abuse the fucking cat and film it. Mm -hmm. <laughs> how long? Now, how long ago did he do actually do that? A, couple a year years. ago. A year ago, it was it happened in oh, wow. I was on the news, but nothing ever happened to him. Everyone still supported oh, him. So someone sent me the video. I put the video out because one of his sponsors was Young LA and they sponsored Jay Cutler, who loves animals and all these other people. And I said, how can this company sponsor him when there's a video of him abusing animals? So they dropped his contract and that's so now they're all mad at me because I'm destroying his career. I'm like, fuck. <laughs> <laughs> well, listen, I'm going to make one thing clear, man. I never abused an animal in my life. Right? I had dogs my whole life. Come on, uh, Jimmy. I, Jimmy, yeah. you've abused a few pussies. <laughs> you've abused a few pussies along you, the way. Yeah. <laughs> I just want to make that clear because I don't want nobody ruining my Jimmy, career. Jimmy, right? loves, Jimmy, Jimmy loves animals, especially horses. Yeah, <laughs> yeah horses. Uh -huh. I love all creatures, Lee. You know what I mean? That's, you know. Except humans in traffic. I could. Yeah, yeah. Except humans in traffic, right? Yeah. I can oh kill a person before I can kill an animal. I can't do that. My my son hunts and shit. I can't. I'm not into that hunting. I couldn't kill something and eat it that I saw walking around. I can't look at a plate and see. What is the same? You can watch. You can watch two people fucking bash it out, fight each other, do whatever, and you're like, yeah, you're idiots. But if I see someone abusing an animal, a poor defenseless animal, I just want to kill them. Like the rage goes. Rrr. <laughs> yeah, me too. It's, you know, I used to run with the uh, Rescue Wink. I, I, you know, you guys. Oh yeah, that, right? yeah. You remember that? Yeah, it, yeah, yeah, that was yeah. not that long ago. Yeah, I remember that. I was actually filming for Animal Planet with the, with those guys. So I was mm -hmm. with them for a couple of years, and we we you know we went all all over rescuing. Mm -hmm. That's what we did. We rescued animals. You know, um, what, 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 I get a job here at the moment. I still got to do my resume, but I might just do casual work because I can do cardio. You can go walking around, writing parking tickets. But they said, Lee, we've got some openings for animal ranges where you go around and you you know get the like the loose animals off the street and take them back to the shelter. But then you sometimes have to go to homes where people abuse and animals. I'm thinking, yeah. oh, I don't think I could do that. It's like I'll, I'll go to their home and they'll be yeah. like, what happened to them, Lee? Oh, they fucking tripped over. <laughs> the dog bit them. Oh, I don't know. They just, how'd their face get all messed up? Well, I just, he tripped over the step. I don't know what to say. Imagine going into a home and just seeing animals chained up, not fed, ah. where they got that collar cutting into their neck. I'd be like, Oh fuck! It'd be hard not to punch the cunt. <laughs> <laughs> I got, so I got. I, I enjoyed. Uh, I enjoyed rescuing. I had. A, I had. A, I really enjoyed that. We we rescued everything, man. One time we rescued this uh, this uh, ram. He was in the stable. It was right over here in Elwood. It wasn't that far from here. And the mm -hmm. woman calls up, and we we had to go get the ram because the ram was uh, screwing all the all the sheep, and he was like out of control <laughs> sexually. So we. <laughs> so. We, so me and Big Ann had to go and get this this ram, you know, and we had we were running around a barn. I was stepping in what kind of feces and shit. And we finally we finally get the ram. So I had my van at the time. So we lined the van up with hay with uh, bales of hay and we left the center kind of like, you know, uh, open, you know, and we and we stuck him in there and we closed the door. Yeah. So we we, we brought like him we sexually sexually abused ram, was it? <laughs> no, the ram was sexually abusing all the sheep in the barn. That that's why the uh -huh. lady called to say, You gotta come and get him. He's out of he's out of control. I said, I know a few guys like that. I said, but I said, yeah, we'll come. <laughs> so, you know, we went, we got the thing, and you know, and, and, we, and we, me me and Anthony was bringing him all the way upstate. We had to find him where we you know, we had to use GPS, get to the and we get to this huge farm, right? And Anthony, I my van had a like a little cage in the back, but it was open on the top, so Anthony, the thing wouldn't shut up. It 
was kicking the the walls of the hay bales, and you know, so Anthony kept throwing bananas over over the wall to like to keep him quiet, you know. So we finally get to the farm, and the people like welcomed us like uh, like royalty, man. We 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 backed up the barn to the to the van to the gate. We let we opened up the thing. He ran out in this gigantic field. He was at the whole field to himself, you know. And then they had this gigantic picnic table and this huge feast. We sat down. They fed us. They had a band there. <laughs> and you had yeah. lamb chops. <laughs> yeah, right. Yeah, right. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, they, fed just, him. they fed him. They fed him the lamb that got brought there last week. <laughs> yeah, it, 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 I tell you, it was uh, it was pretty amazing. Yeah how these people welcome you know then we had to get chickens one time like wild chickens or roosters or something and we went to another barn and we couldn't uh we couldn't catch him we were running around trying to look. we looked like a stallone in that movie you know when he was chasing the uh the chickens. Rock, yeah yeah, rock, yeah rock. it looked just like that we were running around trying to catch this. i can't catch and then, it, and then they did it they did it in creed and the guy caught the chicken and slides like oh the chickens must be slowing down <laughs> <laughs> I tell you, I was, you know, I, I even flew to, I, I even flew to, uh, um, uh, what the hell was it? Uh, it was up like Alaska. We went, you know, and uh, yeah. to rescue Beautiful some place. guy shot a dog. No, and you, threw fly, it in you, the fly, you fly to Alaska, but he didn't fly to see me. Someone just asked, are you coming to Nashville, Jimmy? So are you going to fly to Nashville? <laughs> well, we'll see. I'm going to leave that. I'm going to leave that as a surprise. Mm -hmm. oh. <laughs> <laughs> How long did you work there, Jimmy? With Rescue Inc. Yeah, I tell you, I love working with those guys, man. I we, I was with them probably for about a good two years. So, oh, wow. um, and uh, like I said, in in, in Alaska, the, the, what the hell? Where was it? It wasn't really Alaska. It was just below Alaska. It's like the last frontier British, of America. British Columbia. It was a. It was called a territory. It wasn't even called a state or a a, 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 a county. Oh, or, fuck. Uh, Oh, shit, I can't remember the name. I'm losing my mind. Sure anyway, it wasn't like, it wasn't like, you, were, you weren't in like Yukon. It was Yukon. Yukon. Yeah. yeah, the Yukon. Who said that? I did. I yeah. did. Thank yeah, you, I did. Greg. Thank you. It was the Yukon. <laughs> so we went to this place called Whitehorse. That was the name of the town. I told the story in after hours, but uh, sounds like it, a very I, racist town. Trump <laughs> town. Well, it turns, we're the it's new after hours. It, it's all, uh, it's all, uh, you know, First Nation people. That's what they, oh. that's what you have to have to address them. But there's a lot of drinking up there. There's really not much eating. <laughs> and uh, <laughs> so I asked this one guy. This is during the whole week we were there. I, I said, you know, excuse me, sir. I said uh, he, he was, he was, a, you know, an American Indian. Mm -hmm. I says, uh, I, I said, you guys. I think it was called White Horse. Yeah, it was called White Horse. That was the name of the town in Yukon. I said, you guys, I know you guys always like to name stuff after things. You know, I, I was trying to be politically correct. You know, I says, I, I, White Horse. How, I, you know, how did that, how does that fit into the town? You know, I was trying to be nice. But he says, do you want to know? I says, yeah, well, yeah, we'd like to know. You know, he goes, go jump in back of the pickup truck. So uh, me, Joe, and Anthony, we jumped in the back of the pickup truck. And this guy took off and he's heading up the mountain. You know, and he's going up this trail like we it was a good half hour, 45 minutes, you know, and I, we're, we're saying this guy's going to kill us, man. He's going to shoot us and throw us off the back of the truck. Nobody's ever going to find us. You know? so we finally get up to the certain point on the road and uh, we get out and it was this giant river along the road. Right. This is this true story. And we're looking at the river coming down the mountain, big river rushing, you know, and, and yeah. we get out. And yeah, it was a certain, it was unbelievable. So it's like. It was like Jeremiah Johnson, the movie. I was like, the, 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 the town was, you know, it's the that last sounds like I'm watching Yellowstone again. Carry yeah, on. It, it, that's what it was. Yeah, yeah, it was, it, that's what it was like. So all of a sudden, we're standing next to this giant, huge river, you know, and, and, and it was like rocks in this one area. And as the water came down and hit these rocks that pretty much crossed the river, the mm -hmm. water would shoot up, you know, and then come back down. But if you looked at it from the side, it looked like horses with white manes just rearing up. And then, you know, and, it, and, and, he, and he showed us and he said, this is, I said, really? I said, I can't believe it. It, it, it looked like white horses, man. It really yeah. did. It was unbelievable. And then Jimmy, that's, Jimmy that's was looking the at the that... water. Jimmy was looking at the water. He turns I was to wishing the you were there, Lee. Yeah. And then he looked at the water. He turns <laughs> to the Indian chief and he says, how? Yeah. <laughs> I tell you, it was unbelievable, man. Then we went to it. They want to take us to eat, you know, the dinner. So we went to this restaurant. She says, come on, let's go follow us to this restaurant. I said, all right, great. You know, and meanwhile, you know, we were, we were putting posters up for the this guy who shot the dog and 
threw it in the dumpster and somebody mm-hmm. found it. You know, they saved the dog's life. It lost a leg, though. But we were up there to try to find <laughs> this guy. But you're in a Yukon, man. It's, you know, guys go hunting for six months. Remember that, remember that joke about Indian names and that? And they're going on, you yeah. know, Dad, how did I get the name Running Bear and that? And he's like, right. that's because when you were born, I looked out and I saw a bear running and that. And then the right. other son's like, well, how, you know, it, kept, it goes through all the names, like, you know, Cloud Sky. Then the father's like, and why do you ask two dogs fucking? <laughs> <laughs> well, that's pretty much along the lines. That I was talking about, but, uh, well, not as severely. But anyway, so they, they taking us to this restaurant. So we're starving, right? We're always starving because these people never eat. So we, we're driving and driving. It was like over an hour. You know, I'm like, where's this restaurant, man? We're in the middle of nowhere. You know what I mean? Finally, all of a sudden, we see this little restaurant and, like tucked away in this field. You know what I mean? Like I said. Huh. So we, we, we get out, you know, we go in the restaurant and the lady had everything nice set up, you know, like, wow, this is, this is nice. She opened up the restaurant just for us, you know? So we sit down, we're getting ready to, you know, eat, waiting for the food anyway, you know? And I, and I see like these, the back doors, you know, and it was getting like dark out a little bit, you know? So I opened up the back doors and I'm going out into the yard and I told the story already <clears throat> and I'm, and I'm saying, wow, this is, look at this, this is beautiful, man, you know? And I'm walking in, it was a teepee in the back, right? I says, I gotta go check out this teepee, you know what I mean? It was a, oh. a real teepee, you know, like I had, I had like black. Marks like they actually made fires and stuff. So like mm-hmm. a real teepee, you know. So I went out there. I said, I got to check this out. I started walking to it, and the and the owner, the woman, she comes running out. She goes, Jimmy, <laughs> Jimmy, get back in here. I said, well, I turn around. I go, what, what's the matter? I'm gonna go look at the teepee. She goes, No, this is when the the grizzlies come out now. She goes, You gotta get back in here. I'm like, Oh my god, grizzlies! I turn around. I ran back in the restaurant. You know what I mean? I mean, this is the kind of this is you know this is what it was, man. It was unbelievable. Wow. Did, you have, did you have any? Did you have any peyote? No, we didn't have none, not this trip. There was no peyote involved. No, no. I saw, I saw Greg I said your son was at Fort, Wayne, Fort Wainwright. When I went to Alaska, we drove all the way through Denali National Forest up to Fairbanks, Alaska. And I, walked, I went to Fort Wainwright where I shot a rifle with the snipers and they had one of those metal plates like so many hundred yards away. First shot, ding. So they gave me this nice, I got it here somewhere. It's a nice velvet case. And it has like three of the medals from Fort Wainwright. And it also has the sniper like badge medal thing in there they gave me for hitting the thing. They're like, you want another turn? I said, no, nah, I only need one shot. <laughs> <laughs> well, my, my, my son was uh, Army Intelligence. You know what I'm saying? My son was at Fort Wainwright. That's one of the uh, really, intelligence. Really nice place. Sadly, I met a guy there, though. He was only 23 years old. He showed me around. They had like the Black Hawk helicopters in there and that. And I come to find out a couple of weeks later, he was working on a helicopter. Something exploded and killed him. Oh, shit. Oh, that sucks. Kevin Cowan, if you see, if you remember, I don't know if you were there at the same time, but Paul, a kid named Paul Valentino, that's my son. He was intelligence there. I I, I forgot when he left. I, I don't remember. But it was under Obama. Well, I used to go up there because Derek Snelson, he's has in, a, in Washington just before Alaska, he r- r- runs the racetrack there. He has one called the Firehawk and Firebird, you know, the jet cars. I was yeah. going to go drive them for him. So he run the bodybuilding shows up in Alaska. So every time I went up there, I'd stay for two weeks and that. And beautiful place. Beautiful place. Hey, Jimmy, what do you think about the Planet Fitness with the people with the uh, transgender bullshit? Different locker rooms. He loves it. <laughs> yeah. So I, you got to fill me in on that. I, I, what happened with the, with the, with the I, I saw Lee doing something with the toilet in the, in the. In no, the but it was the guy with the fucking beard, what? shaving and shit, and he was trying to say he, was, I identify as a woman. So he's walking around with his cock out. You know what I'm saying? No. And the way. woman, and the woman who reported it, the woman reported it. They canceled her membership. <laughs> but yeah, they, yeah. Really? She got he, yeah, he he face naked and shit with a fucking razor. You know, what I mean, he had a beard. He was yeah. shaving it down. Yeah. In, the, in the in the in the in the woman's bathroom. In the women's bathroom. bathroom. Yeah. Yes, he said don't I identify as woman. Don't don't get me started, man. This place, this, <laughs> you know, I the shit that's going on in this world, man. It's it's really upsetting. I tell you the truth. I I'm not I'm I'm not. Listen, I'm I'm going on sixty five, man. I'm from a whole different era, man. I you know I'm I'm I, I'm a, you know I I grew up in the sixties and in, in the seventies, man. You know what yeah. I mean? Yeah. Yeah, man, I, this is this is this is absurd. What's going on? It's, but it's, it's not even the hard. thing that I hate is it's like the shit that goes on now. Real trans people even hate it. It's like a lot of this gay shit that goes on. Real gay people hate it. It's just these small minority groups that are taking it way off. You know the 
yeah. the LGBTQI R two D two C three PO, whoever they are. <laughs> it's yeah. like these yeah. people are just nuts. It's like they. I was looking the other day, it came up pride flag, but then I looked, there's like 60 other flags. There's like a flag for every homosexual, gay, non-binary. Like everyone's got a flag these days. I'm like, give me a break. It's like now here in our shopping centers, I saw it yesterday. Some of the shops like could be just jeans. They have the pride flag on gay people. Yeah. Welcome here. I'm thinking when oh. were they never fucking welcome? Gay people have been yeah, shopping in bullshit. shopping centers for mm -hmm. fucking ever. Why well, we got to make a big thing about it? You're welcome. You're here. Thinking about why, right? Yeah, I wouldn't even go there. Then. Yeah, if they say black really only or they say gay only, I'm not going there. Why would I want to go to your place? I'm going there because you have great jeans or good food. Yeah, no, I, I, got, I got to be. How does your sexuality have to do with 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 uh, your talent and who you are? I might I might go in there if there's like a cute guy in there and say, listen, if I buy a pair of jeans, will you suck me off in the change room? <laughs> <laughs> And wear that dress on the fuck. Take that dress off that fucking rat and wear it. Yeah. Well, you see, Lee, yeah. you know, like I kind of like that idea what you just said because at least it's in private, right? So yeah. you, you, you yeah. wanted the guy to do that thing in the in the dressing room. <laughs> that's so that's okay. So so I don't have to see it. You know what I mean? Like the, the thing that bothers oh, me Jimmy, is like all Jimmy, these... but you would, but you would want to. <laughs> <laughs> so the thing that bothers me, like you know, this being this being gay around for. <laughs> Hundreds of since years. cavemen, since cavemen, right? Been... I mean, it's been going on a long time. I mean, you know, the Mayan Indians, you yeah. know, the, 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 Romans. The, the, the Romans, exactly. You know, so the thing is, you don't got to put it in our faces, man. We don't have to have yeah. parades and recognize it and all this other shit that's going on. I mean, yeah. you know, the, the, the right the here, parades. right here with the well, but the parades well, here I didn't Australia. mind the parade either, but you know what. Then they have all the stores that support. Oh, they you know, sexualize support. the parade, though. They sexualize the parade here in Australia. People go support the parade, but then you got these men half naked. They got chaps on with their asses hanging out. It's right. like it's so <laughs> sexualized, and all these little kids are standing there going, <laughs> "What's that?" It's like you but, know. You know, I, I got to be honest with you. Like it, the one thing that really bothered me was the most was the children. All right, so I yeah. saw a woman, when I when I went to the parade. I, oh, I, I mean, I didn't go to. I, I passed by. The parade. Oh, Jimmy, <laughs> Jimmy, 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 you went. <laughs> I mean, was the I mean, grand marshal on the float. <laughs> I, I, I passed it. He's on that float with the big bowler. <laughs> <laughs> well, I really put my foot in my mouth. It's out now, Jimmy. Come on, just go with it. Let us know. How was it? How was it? <laughs> I, I don't know. Anyway, so I, I, I did drive by the main road because uh, they had mm -hmm. like, a band mm -hmm. and walk and all this stuff. <laughs> so anyway, the main thing is I, I wanted to check it out. You know what I mean? Like, no, so, if that's your doing, story, Jimmy. If that's your story, well, listen, go ahead. <laughs> so the thing that really bothered me most was that the, the children, like the, I saw a woman with, with two little baby girls that had to be no more than like six years old, you know, mm -hmm. and she had them all dressed in the, you know, the rainbows and the, the whole gay mm -hmm. thing, and they're, and they're walking with the mother, and I, and I said, you know, that's not really right, because the kids don't know any better, man, and yeah. you know, and, you, and you're doing that to the children, man, and you're, you're their mom, you're supposed to oh, protect yeah, them and let them find their own identity as yeah. they're growing up. And they're holding signs, too, you know, the kids are holding mm -hmm. signs, like, you know, gay, the way, shit yeah. like that. Even, even not gay, I hate it when I see whether it's Trump or Biden, the parents with their kids. Fuck Trump, fuck Biden. I'm yeah, like, that too. the kids that's five true. and six. You shouldn't be having the kids hold shit like that. I Come agree. On. Like, I agree yeah. with that. That's great. Jimmy, Lee's shirt. Lee, did you see, Jimmy, did you see Lee's shirt today? The, the shirt oh. Lee's wearing. Lee's yeah, nice shirt. Look at that shirt. What, what, what does that say? It don't said, like me. Me, "Fuck if off." You don't, if you don't like me, fuck off. Problem solved. Oh, <laughs> yeah. That's 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 pretty much saying it direct. <laughs> <laughs> mm-hmm. Listen, no, but it, it's crazy. I, 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 you know, that the children, the children thing really bothered me the most. You know, you, you, like, you want to be an adult and you want to do all that. That's fine. But I don't have to recognize yeah. it. I don't have to see it. I don't need it in my face. I, 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 I that's, I, you know, just do what you got to do, man. Don't, don't, mm. I don't want to, I don't want to hear about it, see about it and all this, all this stuff. It's, it's, it, it bothers me. You know what exactly. I mean? Exactly. You, you want to do that with the children, at least take them to a little island somewhere. <laughs> do that too. It's it's to divide and conquer. They want you to hate them. It's the same thing with you know Black History and this. That. They actually yeah. want you to hate them. That's mm -hmm. why. You think if Hunter Biden came home and said, "Dad, you're not going to believe this, but I'm dating Dylan Mulvaney," you, do, you do know what 
Joe Biden would say? What? Because remember, Joe Biden said that Dylan Mulvaney was a hero. You have, you know, she, you know, he put it to the White House, him to the White House, and everything. It was the same thing. Do you think if uh, if fucking uh, Hunter Biden came home and said, "Look, Dad, I'm dating this black chick," do you think that Joe Biden, the same guy who was with Robert Byrd, the leader of the Ku Klux Klan, the greatest, uh, mm-hmm. he brought more people into the KKK than anybody. That was that's Joe Biden's fucking guy. And, and, and yeah. Joe Biden, who used to use the N-word all the time, called black people predators. I don't want my kids going to a, ra- a mixed school with predators, you know, and all this other shit. And, and, and Kamala Harris even called him out on it. She said, when you, when you try to get, you know, when you, when you, you know, had to bust the black kids out, yeah. I was one of those little girls, you know what I'm saying? So all that shit is bullshit. It's about divide and conquer. They're doing this. You know, when they say, look, we're going to give Transgender Recognition Day and we're going to make it on Easter, they're doing it because they want you to go. I didn't didn't like that. That, I didn't like that at all, Greg. Right, but they're doing it because they're trying to to promote you to fucking hate these people. I think they want to get a rise out of us. That's what they're doing. Well, that's what it is. They're trying to, you know, it's a really cheap thing. Like, watch this. We're going to have Transgender Day and we're going to do it on the day of Easter. Why, why you could do it on a Christmas? On why didn't you do it on? If you imagine if they did it on a Muslim holiday or something like that, you think that shit would Listen, go? Over? So when uh, you know, actually, didn't Biden announce that he was going to recognize uh, LBGT on Easter or something like that? Wasn't it him that? That's did he that? just did it. Yeah. It was transgender Day of Recognition. On yeah, why? Why do you have to do it on? Why do you have, like you said? Why did he have to do it on purpose? On, he, he did it on purpose because he wanted to get a rise out of the, 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 you know, the people. You know, what I mean, that's that's what they want to do. They want us to hate each other, uh, fight it because you know, the, you know, the old saying that divided people is a conquered people, right? So no one, mm-hmm. nobody's gonna listen. I always said, and I even said, I told Lee before, and even on the after hours, you know, that uh, the, we, the, the, those days when the patriot, you know, when the when the when the people rose up against the English. You know what I mean? Oh, and they, yeah. they fought mm-hmm. the English and all. I mean, they, they, those people are gone, man. You, you, you're, right. not, you're not going to get oh, the French, the French revolutions and stuff. Well, they're in they're Australia. They're not gone, Jimmy. They're not gone. We're right I, here. No, I know that, you, but you it's like, like you used to have like Veterans Day in America. Here we have Anzac Day. That's coming up soon on the 25th, and it's a day where we just, you know, pay respect to our soldiers that went to war and that against mm-hmm. Germany and everyone in New Zealand. It's like Australia and right. New Zealand. Army Corps of that. But now there's a few councils in the cities that won't recognize Anzac Day because they say it's divisive. So they're just calling it the twenty fifth of, of fucking whatever. It's like they won't they won't give like thing to the soldiers. And even we had Australia Day, that's like July fourth to you. And on mm. Australia Day, the politicians wouldn't say happy Australia Day because the Aboriginal people call Invasion Day and the day we come over and killed them and shed blood and that. So mm. but yet the next day Two days later, they were celebrating St. Patrick's Day, Chinese New Year, all the politicians are out. Even the local stores wouldn't sell the Australian flag and merchandise, you know, like Australian T-shirts and have barbecues. <laughs> like the big shopping conglomerates wouldn't carry Australian Day clothing or flags, but they carry St. Patrick's Day stuff because they say we're the invaders. Well, I've got news for you, Aboriginals. Before we come here, there was over 100 different Aboriginal tribes and you're all fucking killing each other before we got here. You're fucking slaughtering each other. Who was there before the Sioux. It's like before the English came or the Spanish went to America, you probably had the Navajo, the Sioux, the Cherokee. Guess what? They used to all kill each other before the white man comes. So, yeah. fuck. <laughs> kill each other. They used to skin each other. They catch the other guy from exactly. the truck. Still alive. From I, the the I, I, I just was reading what uh, Kevin wrote about the uh, – you know, what happened in the school and stuff. That's not right. So anyway, I want, I want to start talking about Australia. I don't know if you, I watch this Bishop every once in a while. He's from Australia. Oh yeah. And, the one that got so here's the thing. Now, my brother just told me today because in the video, this guy walks up to him. He looked like a, mm-hmm. a young man, you know, dark hair. He was I don't know 15, what it, 15 years old. Oh, he was 15. He was 15. Mm-hmm. Yeah. So mm-hmm. he, he's, he's going. He was, down ra- he was radicalized. As he a, was. A, a yeah. One, yeah. But here's the kicker. Now, this guy always talks about Jesus Christ and, you know, mm-hmm. we need to get back to, to Christ we need to bring our country back online. We're getting away from mm-hmm. God, which is true. It is true. I agree with that 100%. So this guy comes up out of nowhere and he starts to, he, I saw the video, my brother said, he knifed mm-hmm. him, he shot him like twice in the face and then the, yeah. the bishop went to the side and then the guy was, knife, you know, mm-hmm. I don't know, he, he, he went off the screen knifing him like yeah. that. 
Did you and know it, what happened? They didn't, report it. they didn't report it, but someone else who filmed it, the kid was saying Allah Akbar when he did it and all yeah. this sort of stuff. And the only thing that saved the bishop was it was like a retractable knife and the thing didn't fully fully extend all the way out, so oh. the blade didn't come all the way out. But then they had like, oh, my God, almost a 1,000 people in the streets riding, the police coming. That's the only thing I didn't like. The police came and then the people were smashing all the police cars but they had to get the kid out of there. The kid's parents come on. Like I said, I think they were Muslim and that. But him being 15 in Australia, he'll be out tomorrow. He'll get a slap on the wrist. And But that guy <laughs> who got stabbed, as they were t before he left, he actually went over to the kid and said, I forgive you and that, and prayed with him and put yeah. his hand on him and said, I forgive you for what you've done and stuff. <laughs> Wow. So that's what Ali, that's what I was gonna say. You took the words out of my mouth. So yeah. in the in the first video I saw, the guy was getting not, not, he yeah. looked like he, he looked like he oh, was yeah, getting knife. Like, like, oh, yeah. yeah. That's yeah. what you saw was like bam, 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 right? But the blade never came out, man. You know, so you know, my brother called me back. He goes, You know, that blade never extended, and the guy was just like button him mm -hmm. with the with the body of the knife, you know, it wasn't you know, and I was like, Wow, look at that, man. It was like it was like like God I protected him, like the blade never mm -hmm. extended. And it, you know, that was a really horrific <laughs> crime, man. I mean, who the hell does shit like that? I mean, he'll be, he'll be, if that blade had to come out, he would have been dead because oh. you know, we got him a few times here, got him up near the neck here. Yeah, he was, yeah, you know, he got him directly in the cut face, too. Like. the head, but I think the cut on the head was just from the Thing the itself, knife, the knife, right, but the body if of that the knife, knife right. had to come out, he would have been gone for sure. Yes. If you guys on after hours would be going, yeah, the same thing happened to me, but I escaped. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah, I took it and broke his hand as I was. When, uh, when I was tired, yeah, they all, they all, they all fell asleep. They, they all fell asleep. They, they, they knifed me and tied me up, but I escaped. They all fell asleep, and yeah. I walked all through the body when they were sleeping. I made it out of there. <laughs> yeah, yeah, okay. mm, who could that be? <laughs> 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 you know, it, it's crazy though. All this shit though was just like the Vietnam. Remember when we were young, Jimmy? Every fucking day in George, we were young. Fucking every day in the news was fucking the Vietnam, and then the, the Vietnam fucking the, the hippies that fucking like fuck you. We won't go. Remember all that shit? Remember yeah. all that? That's yeah, how Woodstock course. was. Woodstock was a bunch of liberal hippie fucking losers out there, and a, a typical fucking you know. <laughs> he's funny. <laughs> hold on, hold on. I gotta see some. Hold on. this this guy here quick is saying that John was talking about me about about Ed. Who am I? Who am I? Who am I? Who am I? <laughs> What's up, Larry? Hello. I'm 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 on. <laughs> He's yeah, hardcore. yeah, well, you know, Dave brought his sister on, you know, I believe in the Bible, I believe in the Bible, if you believe in the Bible, that's like witchcraft, you know, uh, that, that, that's, that's, that's not for me, because, you know, Jesus told you that, you know, you know, the people are coming, you know, just, that's not right, it's just not right, that's like witchcraft, and, yeah. <laughs> Jimmy, everyone's saying that you're so calm, you're not yelling at anyone today. <laughs> In the yeah, chat, yeah, uh, you know, that's I'm because not... after hours gets Jimmy angry. It's nice oh, that's exactly here. right. <laughs> I'm supposed well, to get him you, angry. <laughs> listen, you know, I have my moments. I do. I have my moments. I, I'm, a, I'm a very excitable person. I can get very excited. I, I very easily. I can. John usually works me up, you know, big yes. time. But uh, yeah, he's, he does you know, have a but. I, I like, you know, I like, listen to me. I, I like having conversations of, uh, of real life stuff and, and, and what's going on. And I, right. I would take, I would take on stuff. stuff I mean, that's, yes. That's very interesting. You know, I, I can, I can only really go so far with, um, bodybuilding. Listen, I, I, yes. I mean, I've been in bodybuilding, you know, per se, you know, for years, okay. you know, uh, working for all those companies. I've gone to a thousand bodybuilding events and, um, I, it it just it wasn't my thing, you know. What I mean, I I used to go to the convention hall, you know, meet greet with the people, uh, do do uh, seminars on a stage or a little a little powerlifting thing I would do, and then I would greet everybody at the booth, you know. I, I had a lot of fun, man. I worked with Scott Connolly for years. I had a lot of fun with Scott, you know. So uh, you know, listen, I I could talk about bodybuilding a little bit. I mean, it was. A few people that I did like, <clears throat> I was actually friendly with them too. You know, Flex Wheeler, yep. Ronnie Coleman. You know, these guys were like my friends too. You know, um, but you know, I, I can only talk about it so much. I mean, uh, that's just that's just me, though. You know, I, yeah. I, Same I, here, I, Jimmy. You know. It's not the sport though that we were in years ago. No, it's it's, it's not. It's it's different now. You know, what I mean, no, uh, there's no camaraderie. There's no camaraderie at the gyms. 
Look at guys. Everybody's, everybody's got a fucking. Who am I? Who am I? Who so, am I? John Romano. Bullshit. <laughs> Bullshit. Bullshit, <laughs> Jimmy. I'm off the highway. <laughs> Bullshit. <laughs> Bullshit. <laughs> <laughs> No, I, I, listen, bike, not... really. you got your own room. <laughs> Would have cooked your dinner. We could have went riding. Oh no, no, you never leave in New York. Bullshit. Bullshit. <laughs> <laughs> there probably is some truth to that, but listen, I love John. I love Dave. You know, I, I, I mean, those the those guys, my friend, they're my friends for years. George, though, I've been, I've been, I've been friends yeah. with them so long, man. You know. I would never ditch them or bash them or talk bad about them. You know what I mean? But, yeah. you know, a lot, a lot of it, times. That's their job. That's their job. <laughs> yeah, that's their job, right? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> you know, you know, I got to say, you know, Dave likes to do that shit to me because he likes to get a rise out of me. You know, right. so, does, right. so does John. John does yes. it to get a rise. Because, you, know, you know, John could look like he's really breaking my chops. But I tell you, you know, after, you know, like the show, we'll, we'll call each other. You know, we're, right. you know we're, we're perfectly fine with each other. You know, it's just mm -hmm. it's part of the part of the thing to get me because they know that they can get me excited very they know me very well so they could get me very yeah. excited very fast you know about a certain subject you know i gotta get i get crazy you know but, <laughs> you, know, but uh, you know that's just me i've been like that all my life i've been very you know i, I you know when i was a kid if I got frustrated with something, my, my thing was to smash it. That's what I, I used to smash. It. I, I had a I had a mental problem, you know. Like if, like even my my bicycle one time, I was riding with my friend, and something happened with the spoke, and my my and I just stopped and I took the bicycle and I was just smashing the bike on the floor. I bent the ties up and I had to get on my friend's bike to ride home because I left it on the street all bent up and shit. That's just me. I'm a little I'm a little uh, I'm a little aggressive like that, you know. So. You're like you're like the Hulk, the real Hulk in life. <laughs> Yeah, right. Yeah, like it's mad. Yep. Uh, yeah, like <laughs> I, I, I don't know what it was. Maybe from my childhood uh, frustration. <laughs> I don't know. With the, you know, my my dad was very hard on me when I was. Is your brother the same way? No, my brother's mellow as hell, man. You know, he's like, really? I always told him, you would be a perfect gangster because you never say shit. I don't even know what you're doing. I'll stop by the house and my my nephew's there. I go, Nico, where's where's your dad? Oh, he's upstate. I said, he's upstate. I said, why didn't he even tell me he's going upstate? You know? I said, when's he coming back? Oh, he'll be back Monday. I said, geez, the guy don't tell me nothing. You know, he's like, uh, he's, he... I said, you know, you would make the perfect Don in a mob, you know, because you just, you don't say shit. Not even to your own brother, you don't tell me nothing, you know? <laughs> but uh, anyway, so we're total opposites, you know? But, mm -hmm. but you know, it's, it's funny because my brother is like, um, if I'm all amped up, like I normally get, I'll call him up and I'm screaming. I say, Anthony, I can't believe this son of a bitch. And then my brother, he stays calm. He's like, Jimmy, but what really happened? I said, what is this son of a bitch? He, he took this. He made that. He goes, yeah, but they, you know, they, this is, you know. So he's like very reasonable. And like, mm -hmm. you know, within like five minutes or so, I start to calm down because he's making sense. And I'm, you know, he, he mm -hmm. knows how to diffuse me right away, my brother. So Who's that you and, and, then, and then the other, the, I'm four years older than him. And okay. then the, the flip side of that, is if my brother's having a bad day or he's a little down, he'll call me up and I go off on the phone. Fuck that son of a bitch. Don't know you. Who are you? You got to stand up. Tell that guy. And I, and I, I get my brother all pumped up and I rise him up out of his, his you know, his, his stupor. And, uh, he, you know, he could. So, so we, we, we compliment each other. You know, it's pretty. Uh, That's not bad. I think we lost Lee. What happened to Lee? He jumped off. He's playing with the microphone. I don't know what happened. He's playing with something. No, I think he knocked himself off. Oh, he's coming. Hold on. I got so, so John's saying Frank Zeppi and Craig Titus. What does he want to know about? Now he's I on the other side. Friends Lee, you went from you went from the uh, from one o'clock to seven o'clock. What happened? <laughs> we can't hear you, Lee. You're muted. Muted. You're muted. We can't hear you. We don't know what you're doing. <laughs> now we lost Jimmy. He's saying I just two. got a phone call now. Son of a bitch. <laughs> Hold on. <laughs> Was it working? Is it gonna work now, Jimmy? <laughs> you there? Yeah, we. I hear you. I hear you. You hear us? <laughs> I gotta get off, and I gotta come back on. Go ahead. Go ahead. Jump on and come back in. Yeah, we're, we're all nuts. We're both us, us three. Hey, what'd you think of the UFC fight, George? I thought they were great. Yeah, it was good, wasn't it? The one that just passed. Yeah, I thought Max Holloway was, you know, it was good, right? It was like some hell of a fight. Yeah, bad dude in in his day, boy. He was really well. He, he trained during the whole lockdowns in Hawaii. Was like crazy. Hawaii, they couldn't they couldn't even go in the water and surf. Mm. Dude, wow. Like, I know. So 
Holloway closed his, his gym and he went and trained and in his gym. So I mean he didn't do the normal training. Wow. You know, supposedly, and then he but he came out like a yeah, he's, a, he's an anomaly. I mean, he, he I mean what he did. Yeah. And the other John Saldi, what's up? George, you saying hello to you, John Saldi. What's up? What's up, John? Can Garcia, you hear me now? Brian Garcia fight's happening this weekend, I think. Yes, we hear you. Yeah, we hear you. You froze for a second. Got it. I, I, fucked, up. I fucked up. I fucked up my oh, mic trying to be funny. I <laughs> fucked up your mic. <laughs> and Joe, well, let I won't go back to the guy that fought. The other guy that fought, yeah. the, uh, Pierre, he had, he had, what's his name? Well, who's the actor that, that does the, the Aikido? Steven Seagal. 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 Yes, he had Seagal. He did this, like you know. I don't know. I see Seagal. I don't know because you see his stuff. It looks does the, you know, it doesn't look. He he does like this stuff, and people come run at him, you know. Mm -hmm. But apparently, some of the guys that work, right? <laughs> yeah, Lee. yeah. He, he was showing, he was showing Pierre the, 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 this punch. Yeah. Right. That comes straight. And that's the punch he did. Mm -hmm. Do you know what I'm saying? I, yeah. I don't know if it's the punch. I didn't see all the fight, but he came out like it this. It looked like this. Look, it was like, it was like, like, see, like this. It was like this. Oh, okay. Was it the two, two finger death punch? So, <laughs> yeah, Lee, actually, <laughs> he, was, <laughs> he was showing him this punch, and then he told the camera guys, don't, don't show. But I, I saw that. You know, I don't really? know whether, because it looked, it looked, it didn't look like a regular punch because look, he's <laughs> like this, right? Mm -hmm. Up, yeah, right. Uh, if they you look know, up, yes, it did. So like this, right? This, this is how. If you, I'm gonna go from the side. So when I'm, I'm, I'm throwing a thing. I'm going like this. Sorry, guys. Yes, exactly. I'm twisting my, I'm twisting yes. all the way up because my shoulder is blocking my head. Yeah. So that's the complete, you know, complete opposite of what he did. You know, Boss Rutten, Boss Rutten won't punch. He uses it in your face. He only uses his hands. And and let me tell you something. That man is fucking brutal. He because he said most guys you break your fucking hand if you if you use your fucking hands. So he likes to use his. He doesn't like to use his hands. He uses his palms. And Boss yeah. Rutten is the, the, the yeah, You can't use your palm. You can't really use your palm. I don't. I'm not. You can't really use your palms for striking. Mm -hmm. Well, he. That's what he. I'm just saying. That's what he did. And then he uses. Not Punches. George, yeah. when is your actual? You have an actual fight coming don't up? Don't know yet because it was still. Uh, we have to. What has to happen is the, an event. So there's probably an, another event. So uh -huh. a promoter has an event, right? And then the promoter says, "Okay, I'm having an event," uh, and then he put he has a matchmaker, and the matchmaker right. calls up all the gyms and says, "Hey, you got guys for this this weight class, that weight class, this weight class, blah 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 blah." And then, and then what happens is, then they try and match them up, you know. Mm -hmm. right. so now, before the internet, guys would guys would put guys in there who were rigged, you know what I mean? Mm -hmm. Now you can't, because now you can see if the if the guy's is, is is first fight, he's he's a black belt in jujitsu, you know, and you go and you go and you go, you got to you want to know that. So, so mm -hmm. George, how do they match you up? They match you up by uh, height, weight, or skill? Well, how do they... gonna, it's going to be by. It, there's no age, so it, it's uh, uh, blue, blue, blue eyes, six inch yeah. dick, and <laughs> it's skill level. That's the way I know when my daughter used to fight. You know, I was doing that. Gee, it's, I'm going to fight at two hundred five. Mm, two hundred five. But he's not going to fight at the black belt. He's, they're not going to make him with like a black belt in jujitsu fight, like you know somebody. No, if, I, if it's first of all, if I have, let me. It's, there's, a, there's a big difference in the cage when someone is a black belt. Yeah, I mean, has that. If if I am in the cage with someone who has better ground skills, we we I'm training to. If he try takes me down, I'm tra I'm training to take down the fence. That's why I'm doing it with the six set. The guy who I was training today, six seven. Take yeah. down the fence. Why don't you just uh, go through the gate? Uh, Brazilian Jiu-Jitsu black belt. <laughs> Lee, what well, the hell are you doing? He's been, <laughs> he's been I want playing to know if the when George is fighting at 205, is that AM or PM? And if you're trying to take down the fence, just go through the gate. It's much easier than taking <laughs> down the right. fence. <laughs> <laughs> I'm here all day. 
I'm trying to fix up this microphone, Jimmy, that I did for comedy. Oh, I don't know what the hell you're doing. It looked like you were like trying to like uh, get on a space shuttle or something. Dude, everybody's asking here if the Tyson fight was really canceled. I see a few guys asking that. Is that yeah. true? Uh, was- I heard that it may be, it may be pushed off. Tyson J. Paul. Yes. What happened? He got knocked out in. in uh, no. He wants, to, he wants to fight me. I think somebody said Jake Paul pulled out. I'm not sure if that's true or not. I heard he got knocked out. He got knocked out and he got knocked out in, in sparring. <clears throat> and, <laughs> yeah, and as a result, he can't. You know, look. Once you get, we just had that conversation today. Once you get, no one really heavy spars the head because once you get lit up and knocked out in, in training, I you're like not optimized for the rest of your career. Moment yeah, you get knocked out, one about that. You and I just talked about that. I remember. Yeah, you're done. So you really, I mean, maybe that's right. Look, will you shut up if you want to get on the show? <laughs> oh, listen, listen to that. Listen yeah, to right. that. Listen. Yeah, right. That's why I get girlfriends. Who gives a shit? Listen if you, to that. You're so abusive, Greg. What wonder what you're looking at on camera. <laughs> oh my god. She's over here talking to me like hey, Jake Paul's wife is pregnant. Jake Paul, whatever. You know, that's why I'm like, well, oh, Jesus. Oh, oh, is that why? Lou's got a finger on the pulse. She knows everything. She's like fucking, yeah, she's like TMZ. You wait till she... the camera's off. Lou's going to fucking get it. Like, <laughs> I told you to shut up when I'm on the fucking podcast. Stop the That's one of those garden statues and cracks it overhead. <laughs> that's a lot of statues. Don't be crazy. Yeah, that's that's <laughs> Jimmy, they want to know you still drive your truck. Wow. Jimmy, if you came over now, forget it. No, nah, not really. There's like 15 more statues. Not really. <laughs> Let me, I want to say something about Michael O'Hearn. Go ahead, Michael, Michael go ahead. So Michael O'Hearn and Rampage, they're fighting uh, in Bushido. So the Bushido Blood Sport Japan is a ring. Looks like Looks like the sumo wrestlers, right? Mm-hmm. And and it, it's wrestling. Yeah, it's not. I heard. I heard. I heard it was more wrestling than it is striking or up. anything. Yeah, Lee, you can look around. Bushido, Bushido, Bushido. Yeah, it, Bushido. It, it, I looked it up. I saw the matches, so they want to try and make it. I Obviously, thought, Michael Horn has a lot of. Bushido uh, was, I thought Bushido is like when they had these things and they go. Yeah, that's what, <laughs> that's what it really is. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Or what was that? In kickbox where they put glass on their knuckles. Remember? No, Lee, they go. Prepare to face your doom. You have disrespected me for the last time. Oh, yeah. Right, Greg? They're right, still right? talking after the, after the voice stopped. Yeah, still still talking. The voice don't match at all. You have disrespected me for the last time. Prepare to face your doom. <laughs> you know, that's like, you know, when I go to the, the Chinese takeout, Greg, you know, I don't know how they how like English is um, oh. tra- trans, you know, uh, it, it, trans into it, 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 Chinese because I'll say oh. one thing. I'll go to the I'll go to the counter because you were doing mm-hmm. the, the the lips, you know, it's funny. Right. But, and I was I'll, I'll walk up to the counter. I say, yeah, I'd like to get the chicken broccoli pork fried rice, and then she'll turn around for like five minutes. <laughs> and I'm like saying to myself, what the hell did I say? Going, you know, and then she turned around, she goes, okay, 10 minutes. She said, I'm like, holy no. shit. What no, they, they, <laughs> what, what, don't what, they, what they, they try and upsell you? It's like I go to the Chinese restaurants here and I walk in, I say, can I um have the sweet sour pork? Oh, yeah, yeah. Sweet and sour pork. And? Yeah. Like, oh, I only want a sweet sour pork. Uh, honey chicken. Right. Sweet sour pork, honey chicken, and like, how many? How many? Oh, and, then, and you go like and you go like sweet and sour chicken. Oh, sweet sour chicken. You like, you like. Of course I like it. That's why I'm fucking ordering it. Oh, oh yeah. You like you like very that. good, very good. Yeah. You want some prawn chip and, and I go for one meal, end up leaving with fucking six. Could you just minute. be done? Ten minutes, ten minutes. <laughs> Oh, it's expensive. Know, I, I hate when people, too. you know, I hate when people push it on you. Like even you know, it's just a simple thing like 7 Eleven. I'll go to 7 Eleven, oh. I get a coffee, right? And I, I, I use my that. card. And I put the card in the freaking machine. 
And then she asked me, if I want money back, you know? And I'm like, why is it, you know, why do I got to sit here for 10 minutes? And, and, and those little things, those little squares are so small. I'm trying to hit it with my, my big uh, finger, you know, <laughs> to say, no, I don't want money no. back. If I want money, I'll go to the freaking ATM. I didn't come here for money. I came here for a fucking coffee. I don't want this. I don't want money. I do it every time, you know? And Jimmy, the guy looks at me, you know? know what's worse than that? When they start asking you, do you want to donate? You're in a tip. Yes. You know, that too, yeah. you want to donate to the, and like that money's really going to go somewhere. World hunger. Yeah. You donate, you know. You keep yeah. raising your prices. Why don't you fucking? I'm buying your shit. You donate. They yeah, they constantly right. want you to donate, right? Exactly, right. Yeah. And none of them. Only the yes. the grocery stores in America. You go to a grocery store. I want you to check it at the checkout. It says tip. I'm like, yeah, tip for what? And then even buffets. You go to a buffet. I go to a buffet. I walk around and get my food every fucking time. And at the end, a tip. <laughs> a tip for what? You didn't fucking do anything. <laughs> I tip myself. <laughs> Mm -hmm. I'll give yep. you a tip if you're not getting paid enough. Talk to your fucking boss, you dickhead. There's a tip. <laughs> I'm not here to pay your fucking wages. I don't own mm -hmm. the company. Yeah, but I hate when he started asking for money. Will you help the homeless children of like Africa? And I'm like, no fucking way, bro. I'm not. T Fuck that. I need my own goddamn uh, charity. You want to you make know? money in America? You want to make money in America? Have a few anchor babies. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Oh yeah. Lee, I saw the one thing where you went to the store. You checked out. You scanned yourself. You bagged yeah. it yourself, and as you were walking, the guy's like, "I see your receipt," and you're like, <laughs> "Yeah." Uh, my my friend Paul went off. He's like, "Are you accusing us of fucking stealing?" I didn't know because you know, I was actually walking, and I'm pushing the cart, and the guy's, Argh! "I went, what the fuck? The wheels are stuck," and I'm trying to push it. He's like, "Can I see your receipt?" I said, "What for?" He goes, "Just to make sure." I said, "If you didn't want to serve me, and I'm doing it myself, don't ask to look at my receipt." He had a remote control where he fucking locked up my shopping cart. The country. <laughs> yeah. Oh, really? Yeah. Is this... I said, I'm not showing you my receipt. I'm going. Yeah, but the you, you don't want me to just watch shit. pay for it. He's actually standing right there where you fucking, yeah. you know, where the fuck. So they see you over here. Beep, beep, you know what I mean? Well, I, I, had, like, I, like I only like had, you know, like, had cat food and stuff. I said, listen, mate, if I was going to steal, this thing would be full of fucking prime rib and steaks, you dickhead. Yeah. You know, Lee, I gotta say they do that shit at like BJ's and Costco's too. Like I'll be at the I'll be at the cashier, you know, ringing All everything right. up. So obviously, you know, and they once see you, you. Yeah. yeah, I mean, obviously, I'm they ringing every, huh? They watch you. Yeah, I'm, yeah, the lady's ringing me up, and everything gets rung up. So I, everything goes in the wagon. I pay it. She gives me the receipt. Obviously, I bought everything. <laughs> it's in the wagon, you know. Then I get to the door, yeah. and the guy's standing there like uh like the police, uh, or the, you know, he's uh, like, let me let me let me see the receipt. I'm like, why you got to show you the receipt, man? I always I just say went no. To the cashier, mm. you know, they they rang me up. <laughs> I got everything in there that, that I bought. If I didn't, if I would, if something wasn't in, you know, I, I if something I didn't buy was in there, I never would have made it past uh, the cashier. You uh, know what I mean? Like uh, it's, it's I, Costco, I Costco, that. and Kmart hate me because I did it at Christmas time. As I'm walking out, they put they put the checkouts now in the middle of the store. So once you pay, then you got to walk through the store before they're at the front. Security could see you paying mm -hmm. your check out. Now you get there, can I see your receipt? I just go no, and I keep walking. They're like, so one day I was coming out, mm -hmm. and like fuck this, I got the big receipt because normally when you show them the receipt, they just go uh and tick yep. it. And mm -hmm. That's it. I said yep. no, no, no. I said I want you to do your job. If you're worried that I've stole shit, go through the receipt item by item. I had this right. prick go through. One of them. Yeah, I got one of them. What's that? Two of them. I got the fucking line behind me was so long. I said, I said, don't worry. He's just doing his job. It's okay. I, I made him check. I made him check everything. I said, see how stupid this is? <laughs> it, is, it, is. it is. It is stupid, man. You don't have to show your receipt at certain no. stores. They can only they can only stop you if they have like, like, like they you have to pay for membership or an accusation. Yeah, they can't. Like you don't have to show them your bags or nothing. Just be like, no, and keep yeah. looking. What are you for? Because I see other fucking savages when I'm in the store, run right out with this shit. Oh, so you yeah. don't have to out, and they let them go. I don't understand that. You can steal up you know, to you know, nine, Greg, nine my, my my checkout of my supermarket tells me to get the hell off the thing and get out of the store when I'm done. <laughs> <laughs> I'm, I'm, as I'm checking my items out, and I finish and I pay. The lady says, take, "Please take your items and go." You know, I'm like, I, yeah, I, I they the know items you. are still. They yeah. know you. No, now they now they got it. So I went there the other day. They got a new machine now. Now they actually, when you walk up there, your 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 face is on the TV. Yeah, you know. I put I put my yeah. finger. I put my finger. I get one of those hand wipe things, and as I'm scanned, I put it over the camera on the thing because it sees you. Think they got a camera there, and there's a camera up on top looking down at the items. I put I put my thing over the camera in front of me. <laughs> Meanwhile, over here, you can steal fucking a whole goddamn yeah. wagon full of shit and run yeah. out with it. You know what I mean? That's what these people do. These they don't stop you. 
over here. I, I didn't understand the camera. The camera thing bothered me, man. Why? Why do you have to like? Why do I have to be on camera when I'm using my card to pay for my shit? I because mean, I, I don't you know. pay. Because you pay, but these other savages ruin it for all of us. They fucking steal. So now we got to look like you know we're the fucking yeah. ones. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Just look at the camera, Jimmy, doing this. Just being. <laughs> <laughs> well, I did do what you do the last time I went there. I looked at the camera. I went like this in the camera as I was checking out. You know what I mean? Like, you got to, yeah. I, I got to be on video. Just keep looking at this little weird stuff. Dude. Just look yeah. at that. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I got to try that one next time. <laughs> put your hand down your pants as you're as you scanning stuff. <laughs> and then put your hand down your pants and you shake the guy's hand. Hey, yeah, thank you for checking my receipt. And he's like, get the fuck out of here. Yeah, Remember the that. guy that used to do that at, at, the, at all the events? Yeah, I told you, they used to call it the stink finger. Guys would go in and fucking and put their finger in their ass and they'd run around and they'd meet all the bodybuilders at the fucking, at the expo. You remember that stink hand they used yeah. to call it. The and they post it. And they would post it. They would post a picture. They'd give you a picture of one of us like this with some fan and he would yeah, I just gave him the stink hand. Meanwhile, he would rub his fucking fingers in his ass and he'd walk around to all the pro bodybuilders and the people in the fucking expo. And he shake their hand. Like, dude, who, dude, who dude, does that? Like, who would even think of doing that? I'm like, who dude, was that? if you remember Get Big, people would be on Get Big Pro. I stink fucking hey Valentino, uh, Jimmy the Bull, fucking George, and and and, and the Lee Priest. You know, I do remember that, Greg. When they they when did do that. On. They used to do that at the yeah. expo. When a guy would come get, you know what I would do? You know, you know what you do to get someone like that. Yes. Drag him back to your hotel room, us rape him and film him and put it all over the internet. Say, I'm not gay, but this is what the guy deserves. And just film him crying like a beat bitch as you're fucking pile driving him in the <laughs> So who's laughing now, Mr. Stinkfinger? Oh, <laughs> <laughs> it was a big thing, George. You remember it too, right? Yeah, he's like, Ooh. that guy is representative of what the trolls are like on, the, on yes. whatever place you show you go on. When they comment, shit. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Why? So if you don't, if you don't want to be spit, if you don't want to be spit roasted by Jimmy and I, don't give us the stink finger because we're because <laughs> we're coming for you. Well, Lee, you got, you, you, get, you. you got you got sick at the um uh, at the yeah. Uh, I probably had that happen to me, didn't I? Who knows? I got sick. Yeah, because remember, 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 right? Yeah, you because remember you get you got home, you were very sick for uh, about a week. Mm -hmm. Were you yeah. puking or just you talking about like a cold, bad cold? Oh, like bad. I had to get antibiotics, coughing up all green wow. shit and. Blame like a chest infection. Well, yeah. that's that air in there doesn't circulate, doesn't circulate in a plane. You're sitting with all these people, their breath stinks. Well, the guy in front of me, the guy in front of me all the way home for 13, 14 hours. That's a long flight, man. You know, you see? But I'm fucked. This guy's coughing. You know what yeah. I mean? Mm -hmm. What did you did say, you see the, Did you see the new luxury airline? They, I just saw it on, uh, on, I think it was Instagram or whatever. Oh, YouTube. Titanic Airlines, yeah. No, they, not the Titanic Airlines. This was, uh, American Airlines. They made it where you, you have your own little compartment and the, the seat folds down to a bed and you oh, can actually That's sleep. like um, Emirates. Yeah. Emirates, look at, if you Google Emirates first class, now if you want to talk yeah. about fucking first class, same thing. It's like your own little apartment. They even have a shower on the plane. You got like the thing goes into a bed. You got your TV, a couch. It's like God knows yeah. how much it would cost. But that's why I get so annoyed because the movie stars come over on their private jets or in one of these things, and they get to go do an yeah. interview. And you got off the plane, you look so fresh. Well, so would I if I was sleeping in a fucking apartment on the way over? <laughs> <laughs> like this for fucking fifteen hours. That's horrible, man. <laughs> um, I couldn't even handle when I went to, the drink I, car I flew past. down to Florida. I, you know, Lee, I couldn't even handle the two-hour oh, flight God. going down to Florida. Uh, I couldn't even. I can't. You sit like you said. You sit in the chair like like this, you oh. know. And I was sitting next to—I don't know what I was sitting next to. He was whatever. So I was sitting there, and uh, non-binary. He's, he's, I'm all cramped up, and I'm trying to sleep. My head is nodding forward and backward, and to the yeah. you know, my shoulders sticking out. I had an you know an aisle seat because oh, yeah. my friend, Bang. my friend, Bang. yeah, <laughs> I, I'm constantly getting hit by the, the the person's hip, whoever's coming out of it. And I had, of course, I was by the bathroom, so I was getting whacked every time somebody was coming out of the bathroom. I'm like mm -hmm. I, I said, I, this is horrible. And it was the worst flight, man. The turbulence the whole way down to Florida, man. It was it was scary, man. It was just a bouncing and bouncing. Even the landing was rough. The guy landed on the on the runway like this, bang! Like I said, Jesus Christ! Man. I hate that. Worst, worst, worst turbulence yeah. I had twice. Going to Brazil, I used to go the long way, so it'd take almost forty hours by the time you got there. They flew me twice the quick way from here in New 
he the chilly, chilly <clears throat> Brazil. But let me tell you, remember that movie Alive when a plane crashes and the soccer team, they cannibalize yeah, yeah, yeah. They yeah. each other? Yes. Yeah. I can see why. Twice going over to Andy Mountains, you want to talk about fucking turbulence. I'm like, fuck this. We're going down for sure. The planes, bang, 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 bang. Really bang. scary. I, mean, I start looking around thinking, one of, and then Lee's looking around saying, okay, I'll eat her. I'll eat her. I'll eat her. I'm <laughs> thinking, who, who, who's got the who's going to eat it? It's, it's, I'm eating her first. first. <laughs> <laughs> well, I don't, I'll, I'll, I don't, I don't I'll like this guy sitting beside me just for the fun of it. <laughs> <laughs> oh, so I forgot to mention there was this young kid behind me, right? And she kept putting her knees chair. up. You know, she kept <laughs> putting her knees up on the on the wow. uh, back of the back of my chair, right? And I kept getting, you know, I kept getting like this, bing, bing, bing. Then she was like putting the table down in the back and banging on. Yeah. So I finally turned around. I said, "This, do me a favor." Could you stop doing that right now? I said, it's really annoying. Everybody heard me because they were like, you know, everybody's so close, you know. So mm -hmm. she actually, thank God there was an empty seat across from her. She went over there and was talking to the guy. I couldn't take it anymore. Banging on the seat and the seat going forward. I'm like, I'm trying yeah, to nod off. And I'm, I mean, come on, man. Hate. Mm -hmm. yeah. <laughs> you hate kids. I, if I see kids on a plane or even a shopping center, I shouldn't admit to it. But when they're running around and running around and annoying me, guess what? I put the fucking foot out, and little little fucking bastard trips over. Oh. Oh, he, hit, he hit his head. How'd that happen? Oh. If I see him running in the shopping center and they're looking the other way, I step right in front of him. Bang! Oh, I'm sorry. <laughs> Pick him up and kids. put him on the dog food uh, shelf, and then you throw the dog oh. legs on him. Kids, kids are a menace to society. Those young or the ones that then they start looking over the seat at you. That's not cute. Fucking whack. <laughs> <laughs> What's the parents' fault? Because if I was young and I did that, my mother would be like, oh, thank you, my mother. And I'd be like, oh, shit. You know what I mean? Like, you know. You go to restaurants and they're running around on the seats, on the tables. I thought if I ever done that, my mom would have dragged me in the car park. Oh, like, fuck, yeah. Greg, look, look at the, what this guy's saying. Does Dave Does know Dave about, know about this? this? <laughs> he's, probably, right? he's steaming right now. <laughs> no, but if we, listen, if we were going to be paid after the show, by the way. <laughs> we'd be talking. Yeah, Dave, Dave's, not, Dave's not watching. Dave's, in, Dave, Dave, Dave's not watching. He's too busy in court. He's not watching. <laughs> why, why is Dave in court? Oh, I'm not going there. Yeah. What? What? Please. Nice weather today, isn't it? Nice weather. <laughs> Leave. Dave, Dave don't care. He knows Joe. You know, he's he already knows we're friends. We're so we're friends. Just say, yeah, this is not. We're just having fun. We have. We I'll, hint, have I'll, hint, I'll hint. I'll hint. I'll hint. Mr. G. <laughs> what happened? Listen. Oh. You know, this oh. is nothing. This oh. is, this you know what he's doing? He's taking off his wedding oh. ring. Right, exactly. Oh, yeah. oh, this is like this is like charades. What was that game? You got to get in court because sounds he's, like sounds he's, like. Yeah. I I wish it would work out. I, I would hope it would work out. I, mean, I do too, but you know that's it's like just. But we won't get into that. No, I know. I, I, <laughs> Mr. G, you're being very nice and religious. I know what inside saying. Fuck them! They didn't support my fight. I hope they fucking get everything. Fucking take that lot. Take that lot. Mm -hmm. <laughs> all I can yeah. say about the whole thing is that it's not fun. Whatever Dave's going through, we all. I think we all been. Yeah, we've all been through that. Yes. Yeah. I've been married, not, I've been married not, five uh, times. It's a breeze. It's a breeze. <laughs> yeah. I've been married I don't know twice. How, I don't know how you doing, man. Jimmy, you should send him a Snickers bar. <laughs> <laughs> I feel. I feel for Dave. I, I love. Send him a Snickers bar, you know, but just terrible. so he feels at home, eat half of it. I love Dave. Dave's a good guy. We all we all still good friends. Yeah. He, he's getting big though. He's getting jacked. He, he's crazy though. He's, he, I yeah, he did. He, he gained weight. He looks. He does look healthier. He's, he looks, he's, he's, yeah, he's, he put weight on. He's thinner a little bit. He put you know, weight on. Yeah, he did. His face is big right now, and I worry because he. I remember talking to him uh, months ago, and he was like one eighty five. He told me, or you know, close to one ninety. He's and over two hundred now. Thirty two thirty five, something like that. He he's oh two thirty five now. So he's up there, yeah. You know, you know I what it was. He went, he went back to the first, he, he went back to the Olympia. Tommy's two thirty, two thirty. I can't remember what the hell exact number. Dave, Dave went to the Olympia yeah. for the first time, and he's feeling like fuck. I feel small. Then he <laughs> went to the Arnold. He's going to these shows again. He's thinking fuck. I need to, I need to no, get back on the source. I remember what you said. Lee said yesterday. It's like when a chick fucking you know when you're with a girl and she's maybe not in shape and you're like come on why can't you watch what you're doing and, and then she's like i'm fine well, no, they, they start they start in shape they get out of shape 
And then and when you have a – when you when you separate, they get back in shape again to trap the next person. Mm -hmm. Right, all of a sudden they're joining a gym. And a, so mm -hmm. uh, at least – Why can't you do that while you're married, Greg? That's what I don't understand. So, because they, you know why they, they, get, they get too comfortable. I mean, that, goes for, that, goes for the, that goes for the guy and the girl. Like, you know, yeah, yeah. When that's what I always tell people. You get too you get too comfortable. They take you for granted, Jimmy. You gotta. That's why I tell people when you're in a long relationship, you still gotta make yeah. it fun. Don't take them for granted. You gotta yeah. the stuff you did to catch them, whether it be male or female, how you right. wind and died them, right. you might have given them cards. You gotta keep that shit going through the whole yeah. relationship to keep it spicy. I, every morning I write on the calendar to my wife, and since we've been married, I got old calendars here every day. I love you. I love you. Just something small. You gotta do little things. Just yeah. uh, spice it up. You gotta date your wife. That's what I always yeah. say. You Thank you, date. Father Lee. Thank you, Father Lee. So listen, <laughs> the, the whole thing is like that's what I that's what I don't get. Like I I've seen it a million times where um, a couple breaks up after years, mm -hmm. you know, and then all of a sudden the guy and the girl, you know, they're going to the gym, they go they're oh, going yeah. out with their girlfriends or their their, their friends mm -hmm. to have a beer or or whatever. Like how come you can't do that when you're married? I don't understand. Like, what, what happened? It's like, like what, Greg said, if you get together and you're in shape, and then sometimes you get together because you meet her at the gym, but then she stops training and she hates you going to the gym. She puts a bit of weight on you, say to her, hey, you're getting a little bit what, what? And they get mad. But like I said, the second you split up, they're right. back at the gym again. They're back at the right. gym yeah. for eating clean. <laughs> to attract the next guy. Exactly. You've got to set that pussy trap. you got to set the pussy trap. <laughs> Okay, we're all into fitness. We're into working out. We work on ourselves. So when and it's hard to be with a chick that doesn't give a shit and it's just like lets herself get fat. When you're in, like, and they get breast, in, they get breast in implants that are sticking out, and they're like, "I got mm -hmm. these for me to make me feel better, not everyone else." I'm like, "Don't," or, or they'll be like, "I got these for you, honey." I'm like, "Well, if you got them, if you got them for me, why the fuck are you showing everybody else?" It's like you got them half. <laughs> I say my my cock's for you, but I'm not walking around with it hanging out my fucking pants. Going, hey, I look at this, everyone. That's your, <laughs> I got to say, you know, you know, to touch on the subject, like when I was married, I when I met my wife, I was already training, of course, naturally. I've been training since I'm 14, but. Even during the marriage, man, I trained hard. You know what I mean? I was still doing my I, I never changed, you know. I was always in shape, I always trained, you know. I even got my wife to go, she never really was a trainer. I even got her to go to the gym with me, you know, and uh it, it was you know, we kept it good till till the end, you know. <laughs> Finally, mm. it, it uh it didn't work out. But the thing is like we didn't the mother in law got more involved, Jimmy. The mother in law got involved. Well, yeah, that was uh yeah. <laughs> We, we won't talk about that over this way. But listen, <laughs> I'm still scarred from that shit. Man, I was gonna say, Jimmy, Jimmy has more P PTSD from that than being in uh -oh. the uh -oh. being in the fucking the Marines or anything. You could go to Iraq, you could do whatever, and you you would the PSD from the mother-in-law would be twice as bad. Yeah, but you know what a lot of girls will say? Yeah, but I'm for I may be out of shape, but that's because I gave birth. You didn't have to give birth or that kind of shit, you know. Uh, Something like that shit. Mm -hmm. well, my how, long you gotta, how long you got to hear that for about the birth? Eh? Right? You hear shit like that, though. Mm -hmm. I didn't hear any of that from my ex-wife, though. My ex-wife was in shape, had abs, everything. How painful it is. Even even when it's a young kid, you got to hear from your mother. Do you know the pain I went through to have you? It's like, well, I'm going to fucking ask you to. Jesus. <laughs> well, I think we lost uh, uh, Jimmy. Someone again. called him. So I cut Someone called him. Is that Someone called him? Watching. She's watching. She called him. Says Bob Ciccarelli going to have a field day on this, unfortunately. <laughs> what? Right. What, what do we say? I don't know. That's what, that's what someone said. At first, I thought it was absolutely crazy. But <laughs> and, and Dave don't get along. Yeah, they don't get along. It's not uh, us. Yeah, I got get along. I thought they just. Uh, no, nah, they. You know, they have their little hey, rivalry. You know. Hey, 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 hey! If Dave can make fun of my five marriages, I can make fun of him. It's a fair, <laughs> that's, fair. That's, that's all true. fair in love and war, buddies. <laughs> that's the bust balls. Yeah, you know, that's true. Hold on. I think I did Dave. One thing about Dave, I, he had to miss going to all the shows because that's what he loved to do. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. I mean, I probably he was because he wasn't going to the shows. And he but said, I worry about the guy with his heart, though. Not for nothing, you start putting on forty pounds and shit, especially your muscle. Well, that shit makes the heart fucking. You know what yeah. I'm saying? <clears throat> yeah, but you know, Dave, Dave is Dave has every medical thing hooked up. He's looking yo. Know, I know, but no, it's not. No, like us. I mean, I mean, I'm never going to the doctor. I, 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 
Dave, and Dave complains it's about fun. Jimmy and I going to the emergency room all the time. <laughs> <laughs> but Jimmy goes to the VA. Every, every second he's like, we're in the hospital now. They found out this is over here. And, you know. <laughs> Jimmy, have you been to the VA lately or not? <laughs> no, you haven't. You haven't, Jimmy. Uh, have you? So... Now that you mentioned it, I'm probably going to end up there. You know what I mean? <laughs> you know, you know, it's funny because like when when I go to the VA, whatever, you know, the middle of the night, you know, I'll, I'll leave up, so I'll 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 text him, I'll send him a picture, you know, <laughs> and then we talk back and forth. And uh, I actually got yelled at one time because I filmed the, uh, the yeah, emergency room. Yeah. <laughs> anyway, make it look so short. And then all of a sudden, the next week or two, Lee's in there, and he said a few things and shit, you know. And Dave always makes fun of us. He goes, Lee and Jimmy, you're always in the hospital, you know what I mean? <laughs> you're, you're always you know, in Listen, you know, the body's like a car. You know, like when you start getting over 100,000 miles, you know, the check engine light starts to come on. And shit, of course. Yeah, shit starts to happen. I mean, you know, you can't help it. You know, I'm, mm -hmm. you know we're getting older. You know, Lee's st still young. But, you know, it's, you know, we start getting into your 60s, man. You know, it's... Uh, you know, you got to stay. Listen, that's why I stay in the gym. I mm -hmm. try to, I try to eat. You know, decent. You know, I mean, I mean, well, you know, I do have my Kit Kats and yeah. and stuff oh, like that, yes. like Snickers bar. Yes. You know, I love mm -hmm. my hot dogs. I can't give them up. But mm -hmm. anyway, you know, I, <laughs> for the most part, you know, I like to try to Kit Kat. Keep, Kit Kats you know, from the fridge. Do you keep your Kit Kat in the fridge, Jimmy? I keep them in my cooler, so that when I, you know, they're they're, they're cold when I get it. And you know, I tell you, the only reason why I really like eat Kit Kats. That's what I yeah, like even if I go to the gym, I'll bring a, a Snickers bar or something like that, or a, mm -hmm. I even bring a little Pepsi. I used to do that too. I used to come out of the gym and crack a little one of those little small Pepsis, and I would suck it down. Only reason is because I needed the sugar because I'm yeah. hypoglycemia, so I, I I need I need the sugar, you know. So, mm -hmm. and let me tell you something. I was just talking to Dave about this the other day. I had a really serious attack, a hypoglycemia, and I started losing my peripheral vision. My vision, you know, it looked oh, like um, yeah, yeah, it looked like water. You know, mm -hmm. it, it's, it, you know, and, you, and you're just losing your, it's like, it's scary as shit, you know? So, um, I, I, I got up, that was that one morning I got up and I, um, uh, <clears throat> I started getting all of that in the eyes and I got, I, so I immediately got up, went to the refrigerator. I started, uh, microwaving hot dogs and, uh, I was eating Snickers <laughs> bars. And I was down at Pepsi's. This is like, you know, three in the morning. I'm doing this, you know? Oh my God. And, uh, yeah. I had to, because, you know, then I, then I would just sit in my office like I'm doing now. And I would just sit for like 10 minutes like this. And as little by little, my eyes would start to come back, you know, because the sugar level starts to come up. It's, 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 and then, it, then you're like tired because you're freaked out over the mm -hmm. whole thing. So wow. it actually, it actually exhausts you. It's not, it's not funny, man. It's, it's uh, me yeah, mentally it exhausts you. Fuck that. I mentally, yeah, mentally exhaust you, yeah, because you know you're freaking out. You're losing your eyesight, man. That's, uh, you know, that's heavy. That's heavy. You know. It's, it's, mm -hmm. I mean, I've had, I, I, I've, I've had that, attacks. I get that when I was dieting. Ooh. I'd get hypoglycemic. No, you dieting. got that. We were in California, Lee. Remember, you yeah. came downstairs. Yeah. I was downstairs and already. I was sweating. And, and, yeah, threatened. you came down. He, the poor guy, he came down. He sat across from me from the table. We were down in the, uh, in the, the bar that's area. That's when, you know, that's when Jimmy blinked and the steak was gone. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and Lee came downstairs. He was sweating, right? And it wasn't even fucking hot out. I'm going. I said, Lee, what the fuck were you jogging in your room? He goes, No, I, I didn't eat since uh, five, six, seven hours ago. I said, Yo, bro, you got to eat, man. You know. So I, I got the guy. We've been, we've been walking the, all day. <laughs> yeah, we were walking oh, wow. all day. Really, yeah, really taxed us. So. Um, I, I told the guy to come over and we, we ordered the steaks, you know, and uh, Lee got his first. And then uh, I, I turned around to tell the guy, yeah, is my steak on the way or whatever, you know, and I turn around and Lee's down to the bone on the steak. And so the steak is gone. <laughs> I'm like, where the hell did that go? He was like, <laughs> he was like a, a carnivore, you know, but Jesus he needed God. it though because, you know, his sugar went low. And I, I get that bad. And when it hits me, I got it. I got to devour because yeah. you get that cold sweat in your hands. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Yes. Uh -huh. You get that yeah. sweat yeah. Cold, and you feel it. You have that weak feeling from you. You it's almost can't even feeling. walk. You, you almost worst. can't walk, right? It's the worst feeling, man. Bad, I, yeah. Like I said, I, you're just shoving food in. Whatever you can get, you just fucking put the So that's in. what happened to me when I had the road trip back from Florida with the boat from my friend Craig. I started getting that that attack because I was in the car for hours <laughs> driving, getting so when I saw the McDonald's, I parked the, I found a spot to park the boat and I ran in McDonald's just to, and I ran up to the counter. To tell the guy you know, I want a double quarter pounder with cheese, I had to, you know, I had to eat you know, right away, you know. So he's telling me to go to the kiosk. So I started panicking because I, I'm not good at that shit. 
you know, because you got to go through the whole list. You mm. can add, you can take away, you know, you got to, you know, you got to, I can't do that, man. So I was freaking out with the guy and he, he sent me over to the girl and I started yelling at the girl. I didn't mean to do that. You know, she got upset. She said that she was still helping a, a lady over here. And I said, no, you're done. I said, you're going to help me with this. You know, so, but I finally, I ate, but I, I tell you, it's bad. It's wow. bad. I even did a Dunkin' Donuts. I was with my brother one time. We were on the road and I got, I got a fit. I started sweating. My eyes were going. I said, Anthony, pull over. There's a Dunkin' Donuts over here. I, my brother just pulled over immediately. I ran in Dunkin' Donuts and I told her to give me like four or five uh, uh, glazed donuts. She, so she's over there with the. I said, just throw them in the, in the bag. Don't worry about the little paper. Just throw And she bring it over to the counter and I started reaching in the bag. I'm just eating all the donuts right at the counter. And, and the woman was looking at me like, this guy, you something wrong with this guy? You know, I'm like, oh, 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 I'm getting those crumbs all over the counter. I'm, I'm shoving the donuts down. You know, and after I get it down, I'm sitting there, I'm going like this. After I ate I'm like, everybody, there's people online. I'm going, oh, oh. I'm going, and she says, are you okay? I said, yeah, I'm all right now. I said, I'm going to show you. <laughs> you know, it's. Robert Duran told me that he drove, I think, from New York to Texas with Ronnie Coleman, and they had to stop literally every fucking two hours. And Ronnie would bit buy a big bag of like fucking hamburgers, either from McDonald's or Burger King, and he would eat. He'd have to eat like fucking ten of them and shit yeah. every single time. You know, Break, that's why it's this good. Is, like this is what you like, Break. People like us, yeah. we need to. Uh, what was the other? <laughs> I have a bunch of them in the other room. Break. People, Break. people Break. like us, you need, you need to carry. A, listen, it's another the comments that you need that, Greg. I know. I, I do need that. I do carry uh, food like that. My girlfriend carries shit. With sugar in it in her pocketbook, and Kate, because I'm yeah. diabetic, and when I hit it, when I hit that low, it's really bad. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, yeah. Your girlfriend carries everything. She's got toilet paper. She's well, got a lot. How much, how much do you think, I've been how much do you think you. I can get for this? If I put this on my Instagram, the highest bidder, I'll give you the Lee Priest Executive Committee badge from NABA and two signed pictures, and the money goes to the animal shelters. Do you think anyone would want to buy a Lee Priest badge? Yeah. yeah, yeah. Why not? You guys yeah. want to promote anything? Go right ahead. Coming up because I think yeah, we're about two hours. Right. <laughs> Jose, like uh, two hours. You know. Yeah, but you know what? People loving the show because this yeah. is what do. Everyone they saying we're the better than well, after. We're just talking, and we don't have to hear about Big Ramy and who's going in the Buckeye Barbell Classic and all that mm -hmm. other bullshit. You know what I mean? Well, we're Greg, there's too many people on. It's just it's just too many people. Yes. I mean, Mister G, Mister G would like this one. I got to get a frame for it. I know you can get frame in America. The American flag. Oh yeah! Oh wow! I got to get one of those frames to put it in because the capital of Texas sent it to me. Oh wow! Oh wow! That's cool. So Lee, you're 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 an American citizen. And, yeah, and I've got up here. I see that one up there. You can't really see it. It's this one. That there. That's um, Lee. By is hereby commissioned the honorary Texan. It says under the laws and state of Texas, with all rights, privileges, and and whatever, apparent, apparent, attaining the said office in testimony whereof I have signed my name and caused the seal of the state to be affixed have, to the city of Austin, signed by George, <laughs> signed by George Bush. Wow, awesome. <laughs> and this one here, this one here is from, um, this flag flew over the capital of Texas October 6, 2023, in appreciation of your willingness <laughs> to use your celebrity status and <laughs> event in Texas, but I got that. And this one here, that's from the Queen, the Queen. And then I got one down here oh, from wow. Appreciation Award and Gratitude of Recognition. You mean Queen you mean Queen Elizabeth? Yeah, mm -hmm. From law enforcement. I wrote to her. I said to my wife, I'm gonna write to the Queen. And sometimes she gets letters on a desk and she'll like reply and sign them. Other times they call it the lady in waiting just signs them for her and she like writes the letter. But I got one where she actually signed it. Wow. 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 That's good oh, stuff, Lee. That's good stuff. All you know, right, we guys. Should, we, should, we should all really uh, say goodbye to Joe. Well, I was going to say, I wouldn't keep talking, but, you know, I know. I don't I've also got a Lee Priest pen. I got a Lee Priest pen. <laughs> 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 Lee, you can make a lot of money there. You got a lot of good uh, power. So the pen and the badge. He, the he's like Gene badge. Simmons from Kiss. You, you I, I would also make I'll a give, I'll give a little bit of special. I'll give it a bit of special DNA. I think I think you should make a copy of that letter from the Queen and, and sell that. I think that would be. Well, Lee's going to give him a little spakim. He's going to spakim on it, and he's going to say, "Now it's worth more." Because no, somebody will probably commit a murder and leave my DNA behind, and I'll. <laughs> yeah, yeah, that don't do that. 
Speaking of murder. So I, I, I would, the reason why I was saying, you know, we should okay. say farewell to Joe and good luck and all that, because uh, this guy keeps posting that Dave, Dave's going to have Joe whacked after the show. <laughs> <laughs> he could try. <laughs> no, I just got to say, George, George, it's, it's not that there's too many people also. It's just that we gel. You see how we gel? Sometimes mm. personalities, when we have the other shows, we don't – personalities clash. Well, well nothing, nothing against Dave, Ned, and John, but After Hours was originally you group. John, yeah. Dave, Greg, Mr. G, mm -hmm. and Jimmy. And that's how it was. It was great. You all interacted well. You got along good because you know each other. You've been do mm -hmm. together for so long. And if Dave wants to bring others in, look, that was great. You can bring in a guest every month or something, but the mm – -hmm. Have them as part of the whack pack. It doesn't doesn't gel. We've got one sleep in there. We've got one who doesn't know what planet he's on. We've got another one who just goes, huh, huh, huh. <laughs> I, got, I got a lawsuit, Roger Stone. It's like, you know, it's like, who gives a shit? It's like, it's just like, it's like dead air. It's just like, I think Larry's dog makes more noise than Larry. So it's like, it just, <laughs> it's just not the same group. And a lot of people aren't liking the show due to that. I, I don't know why. Dave brings on nothing against I mean I'm on and Larry. I'm sure they're great people, but mm -hmm. have them on once in a while. It's not the same dynamic as the old team. <laughs> well, we were all together, us guys were all together, even at MD. Remember when John, Dave, and everybody yeah. called it the muscle mob. Remember all that shit? The muscle mob, and then we would yeah. up and and we did shit over there. You know, that's where it's it started at MD before even RX Muscle. All yeah, MD for two years, then RX. The picture, wait. George, I mean, not George. Uh, 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 can you post a who, picture? Said, who said I call Greg Craig? I never call Greg Craig. I no. might sound like Craig when I say Greg. So I goes, Lee always calls Lee always calls Greg Craig. I've never called Greg Craig. He'll never call me Craig ever, never. No, he never no. I have to add to you know what Lee's saying. Like you know, listen, we don't want to bash Dave. We love Dave. You know, yeah, we do love Dave. I, I still do. I still do after hours. You know, I'm busy, I'm, I'm busy. A lot of times he does it one in the afternoon. It's very hard for me to to get you know to do it. But it's not because I don't want to do it. You know what I mean? So, and and the guys that he has on the show, uh, I'm not saying anything bad about them either. But Greg had a point. You know, when you do put people together. <laughs> Uh, there has to be a rhythm, you know, uh, uh, between people. It's like, it's like a, it's like a good band, you know, like Motley Crue or, uh, right. or you, you know, like if you don't have the right drummer, the band ain't going to sound, you know, you got to have like, that's why bands, you know, go through a lot of different musicians until they, they click. And all of a sudden, you know, like I watched the documentary on Motley Crue and they, they, they said themselves that when they get on the stage, when they, even in the studio, when they start to play, it's like mm -hmm. magic happened. They just like, mm -hmm. it just took off and it was like playing on its own. You know what I mean? Like yeah. mm -hmm. that's uh, you know, a harmony. But, but, but it's, like, it's like that in life though, whether it's a girlfriend or someone, you got to click with them, you got to gel. Yeah. It's whether like anything it's, else. Whether it's your mate, you hang out. Absolutely. It's like people you just meet, you get, you get a feeling where you click, you get some people where you just, you get that uneasy feeling or, you know, it's just like a training partner. You get the right training partner. It right. makes all the difference to just someone you're like, uh, I, I don't really like. So, yeah, it's like you know, the, you know, you had before. Oh, I just sent you a picture of me, George, uh, Jimmy, Dave. Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. I just sent it, George. Is that the one? Yeah, yes. look at the picture. See yes, that? Yes. That's old school. Me, George, Jimmy, yeah. all that. Yeah, yeah, I'm not in it, so fuck you. <laughs> yeah. you know, I, I got to say, you know, been with us because we did all crazy we shit. We met you there. That's actually, I think, the the year that when I brought you up on stage. I think it was that year. But we were all together as the Muscle Mob fucking around. Remember all that shit? That was MD that. online when we had we, had we, we were contest. We were at the fucking airport together and everything all the time. Remember? No, yeah, you know, Greg, I, I got it. George, Greg, I'm not cutting you off. I'm just agreeing with this. But, you know, like, things change. You know, everything changes, man. You know, that's just the way life is. You know what I mean? Like, when we first started After Hours with the Whack Pack back in the day when we were in Dave's house, you know, and we were, like, radio. Right. Uh, we, had, we had a blast. You know what I mean? And then then we finally got the – and the, the big thing was, when we going live, when we going to – and John was building the studio. Right. He, built, he did build a beautiful studio. John's very talented right. with carpentry. He did an amazing studio. Very, yeah, that, yeah, and then we moved into the studio, and then we still, you know, uh, had a lot of fun doing that show. You know, yeah. we really it was it was yeah. a lot. Yeah, things, it had some bodybuilding. Though, in it, but things you know, change, but if you've got the best recipe for the best cake, and this is an award-winning cake, and people love this cake, you don't go change the fucking recipe of the cake, and then people hate the cake. If something's good, 
and people love it, you stick with it and then you can bring in <laughs> other things along the way. You can put a little side dish alongside the I'm main meal that everybody loves. But you don't change the whole main a bit like McDonald's if they change their menu, yeah. you're like, fuck, we're never going there again. So I know what you're they had a good about. thing. You've got to change and but, whatever, but come on, it's like the team was there. I agree with you 100%. That's what it is. It's a great recipe. Mm-hmm. But you, know what? you could also have another show. you got a bunch of other shows. You could start a totally different show with all that mm-hmm. stuff. Yeah, after, after, really- after hours, after hours. What's that? I, I suggested after hours, after hours. Uh, you know, just be called like, like, you guys, be called, find maybe, a new Sam Seller. to wait. No, call but, it the wake. No, but call when, it the wake on a retirement home or something like that. <laughs> call it snooze, snooze fest. <laughs> no, but you know, the thing is... Call, the, it, call it insomnia. I <laughs> give a fuck like, uh, is it who wins the fucking... I mean, we're not going to sit there and sit and critique. Call it, it, call it, Joe, call it Ambion. <laughs> yeah. The Ambion, Ambion hour. Yeah, the, <laughs> call it, call <laughs> it melatonin. Afterlife. <laughs> the afterlife, right? Oh, well, honey, I can't, gonna, I can't sleep, gonna honey. Kill us. I'm going, <laughs> honey, I can't sleep. I'm going to watch After Hours. But he's gone and I'm on. <laughs> Oh my god! Oh my god! Dave's gonna kill us, man. He's gonna kill us. Nah, yeah. this is good. Hey, they, they make fun of Mr. G fighting. If they can make fun of Mr. G fighting, if they can make fun of Mr. G going to fight, they can listen to my shit. Yeah, <laughs> that's right. Oh and then Chris Osito's that show. He's in. I don't know. I, I can't watch that. I I know Chris. He's a good guy, but man, he's a good guy, but I can't watch that shit, bro. But that Dave, is Dave, boring shit. Dave, Dave but Dave. When I get into my Mercedes and I'm driving it, and that's 30 years old. But Dave, yes, when I prepare him for the show, <laughs> that's right, Dave. <laughs> Quick Dave, you after hours, help finish. him sleep you on Sunday. Finish, Dave. Dave, you haven't let me finish. Come on. He combs his hair with a pork chop. He's got a hair look, you know what I'm saying? His hair, oh, God. You know, his hair looks like, dude, you wash that hair ever? You know what I mean? Like, that shit's so greasy. He goes like this all the time with it with his hands. Like, you know, Dave, you know? <laughs> that show is so boring. The best part is the chat. Oh, uh, well. <laughs> yeah, you know. I don't know, man. Like, like I said, you know, I'm, you know, we're not. Hey, that's my, that's my thing. Listen, we didn't come here to bash you after hours. No, we're not. No, no we're, we're playing. Not. Oh, come on. We're, we're it's nice to fun. have a little. Hey, have we're you ever watched fun. the. They watch the show. I watch their shows. They bash us when we're not on them sometimes. So if you yeah. can give it, you got to take it. Yeah. Yeah. Yes. Yes. 100%. Hey, Jimmy, Jimmy, remember in Dave's house, we, he had, where we, you never, I was good. I did a, I did a wrestling intro every show. That, and Dave's probably, Dave's probably sitting there remembering his house right now. <laughs> oh, <laughs> Nobody knew. Who, who said that? Who said that? <laughs> 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 no one knew what I was gonna do, and you and and the dogs would would go crazy every time because I once I put a costume on, Dave's dogs would go ballistic. <laughs> <laughs> and that's what he do. Oh, he must have a costume on now. <laughs> How many times did George walk around looking like the uh, Hulk Hogan, and people thought it was Hulk Hogan? right, George? You'd be walking around with that Hulk Hogan. Yeah, I told. I I told. I told people to book with Arthur L. Ray. Yeah, Arthur L. Ray, God rest his soul. He's a good guy. We got him to give away a free trip to, to the Olympia. Yeah. So they guess if they could uh, guess seven different uh, <laughs> questions that we asked, right? Mm-hmm. Yeah. And uh, I was dressed as Hulk Hogan. We went to the airport. Oh, and the, the end of the line. Like security, it's like, there's, there's like 50 people on you know, the security line. And the security girl points to me with Dave and Goes like this. Bless you, <laughs> and just waves us in, you know. I remember it. People were like, "Is that really Hulk Hogan?" Because uh, he looked just. Remember he with the hair? Would he be like, you know? I had it down pat. <laughs> you know, Dave's Jimmy, on confessions did you, next. <laughs> did you miss your? Did you miss your message then, Jimmy? What happened? happened? There's a personal message for Jimmy on screen. Did Did Joe go back to which the one? End? The end. Oh, the end. What did the end say? <laughs> Jimmy, you're in trouble. I don't, I don't know what's going on here. It looks like a little, little bit of a, a war. <laughs> <laughs> uh, he ain't gonna get. A- Listen, we're not under some contract, and, and we're not bashing. We, we said no. a we love him, John, and all those guys. There's no problems. We play around. I mean, you know, yes. they know the way we are. We, mm-hmm. 
I still love Dave. I don't give a shit. Dave's Dave's my guy. When there's problems, I call Dave. Believe me. You know what I mean? Like with my health and stuff, he's the first guy. <laughs> there's, a, there's, another, there's another message for Jimmy on the screen. I knew, put, I knew put, Lee was going to dig on that one. <laughs> put, put, there's a message for you, Jimmy. Look, there's a message there. Look, yeah. read it, Jimmy. Yeah. I read it, yeah. <laughs> Gino <or> G. <laughs> <laughs> you know who that you person and Dave, you and Dave will be having coffee together <laughs> <laughs> well guys oh, um, we've been on for a while I'm going to wrap it up let you guys yeah. do what you well, got to do just begun. what do you mean the show's just <laughs> uh, welcome to do it next week again guys I love you guys you know that just, yeah. Yeah, I love you guys man you know you, too, uh, you guys will get love paid with the tip money by the way after the, after the call so it's coming your way <laughs> I don't, right. I don't take the tips. <laughs> Thank you, guys. I appreciate Thank you guys. it. Do we, do we, do we actually get it? I'm not sore no more. Get tips show? I didn't even see Yeah, we, we did. Tips. We got one. <laughs> we brought in 25 bucks or something. <laughs> yeah. Oh, we we could be here until the end of the year Always. Christmas party. <laughs> uh, I'll wait till uh, Christmas. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> uh, look at Mr. G's getting all fucking worked up. I know. You guys got anything to promote? Be another show that made all my nicks and ticks go away. There see that? See that? <laughs> All right, Mr. G, Lee. All right, guys. Greg, George, love you guys. George, keep it up, man. I love you, man. All right, right. you it's come, you come to Nashville, George. right? You coming in, and then and then Lee, are you coming yeah, down to Jimmy, Florida? You're coming to Nashville, aren't you, Jimmy? We'll see yeah. what happens. <laughs> no, Jimmy. Yes or uh -huh. no? You coming to Nashville, Jimmy? <laughs> we'll, I'll we'll drive see. you, Jimmy. I'll, I'll, we'll leave it as a surprise. <laughs> oh, yeah. right. Mr. G right, would come to Nashville. Mr. G right. would come. Yeah, well, I'll, I'll yeah, yeah, up. Jimmy. What do you think about that, Jimmy? Well, you find have a new friend, Jimmy. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> okay, Mr. G, I'll start FaceTiming you. Fuck Jimmy. He just doesn't appreciate. Oh, he doesn't doesn't appreciate anything. Mm -hmm. All right, brother. Hey, Jimmy, Thank you, guys. Jimmy, if you're not on the show next week and Lee is, you're going to be his target. You know now, you're going to be the target. <laughs> He's got it. Yeah. He's, he's got, got, that, he's got that sinister lamp going on, Greg. I'm just never going to answer his calls. And every time I see him on the podcast, he's I'm continually calling. All right, calling. guys. Irish Thanks goodbye. everyone in the chat. Thank you, guys. Everyone in the chat. Thanks. Watch with the Irish goodbye. He always says that. <laughs> John, yeah. take care, brother. All right, brother. Love you guys. All right, guys. I love you guys, man. Thanks. All right, all right, Leo, 